smart because this fish and i also hate this fish because this fish goes into this fish and one looks like poop and the other one looks like an anus i don't care if the sea cucumber is a special ocean vegetable or something it's a fish to me it's a weird living thing in the water doing weird living thing things and also did i say it looks like an anus this literal turd tube only exists to eat sand and poop it out one side's a mouth one side's an anus that is all this stupid looking alien does all day and this is a pearl fish and all it seems to do is hide inside the sea cucumber and invite its friends in and i hate that what this fish does is actually smart because this sea cucumber is so disgusting that predators don't even bother with it so if you're in the ocean a sea cucumber is a really safe place to be but i hate that evolution decided that this somehow was the combination that was gonna stick for millions of years and that it should keep happening i'll probably never see this ugly thing in person at all in my life and i probably shouldn't care that it exists at all but i don't want to share a planet with this thing i just don't like it all right if you're new here make sure you like and subscribe thank you Don't pee on the floor, use the Commodore. La 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 la. All right. Hello, everybody. How are we doing tonight? Today, tonight, today, tonight, 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 tonight. Hello. Hey, robotic hurricane. Welcome. Thank you for the two months. Let's go. My third favorite game. I hope that you enjoy, Phil. I think it's going to be pretty good. Hello, on the cartoon. Hello, Dylan. Hello, Moy. Hello, King Cobra. Hello, Toffee. User Yeeted. Glitch Stick. Hello, Digo. Cheeto. Hello, Night Owl. Hello, Chrissy. Hello, TV Man. Nano ACR. Ton Moose. Jay. Hello, Digi Wolf. Distilled Pizza. Ruby Bites. Ramsey. Phantom Animations. Fenrir. Hello, J Rex. Russia S. Riem. Two? Thank you, Void. Water. Exactly, my friend. That's about all I know about this game. Well, no, I'm lying. I do know some stuff about Subnautica. I know that you're supposed to run around this giant water planet collecting resources, and apparently it's really spooky sometimes, but I'm not sure why. Hello, Spotten. Hello, Octo Joker. Haley Taisley. Spinosaurus 3. Hello, Kenset. Hello, Nyx. Graphic. Suki. Diamond Doodles. Egg. Jay Parker. Hello, Basic Blitz. Annoying Bread. Jaxla Onlo. Hello, Ty. Hello, Ty. How you doing? Hello, Moth Ghost. Milk Cat. Slender Minion. Uh, Jacob Jakey has been on for five months and says, Wait, does this mean that Fi can swim? Uh, no, actually, I'm pretty sure that in canon, if Fi got anywhere near close to the water 
like she would dissolve like instantly. <laughs> like you know when you when you know when like a tanker in the ocean like spills like a bunch of oil and it just fucking seeps into the water and just dissolves into it and just taints it forever. That would be that would be fine if you put it anywhere near a pool. Just complete dissolution. Uh, Joshua M has been a member for two months and says, "Been here for the two months." Thank you. Wow. Hello. Been super excited for this one. Glad I'm off from work today. Sick. Thank you, fans of Mayhem. That's a lot of money for our members only. Thank you so much. Make up a tea. Subnautica is one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah. I've been really excited to see your playthrough since you announced the stream. It's been a wa long, long, long time since members have been recommending me Subnautica. It, it, it like, like about time. Am I right? Game Speaking says, uh, Phil, please pay attention to the roll. It's good. I have no idea what that means. I guess I'll find out. TV man that streams has been a member for four months and says, It's fish time, boys! Remember to hydrate, everyone. I have a lot of water next to me and also some coke. So we'll be pretty good with the hydration on the stream today. <laughs> Thank you, fart face. Hello. Hi, Phil. Excited to see the water game. Yeah. In the future, you should try the long dark. It's a game about survival against nature in a quiet apocalypse in the Canadian timberland. I do like me I do like me some snow in a forest. Deagle Light has been a member for four months and says, Today my membership dies in two hours, so I'll have to go in the middle of the stream, so I'll see you again next month. Aw, sorry, Digo. I don't really mean to cut off uh like I don't really mean to stream members only is like in the middle of people cutting off their memberships, but that that like YouTube handles how that works. I don't. I'm not really sure how it works. Hopefully you enjoy w however long the stream lasts, though. I have no idea how long the stream is gonna last. By the way, it depends on how into I'm in, like how much I fuck with the game, and how much into it I am. Uh, Alex has been a member for six months and says fishy fishy, yeah. Big meme super chatted two dollars and says it can be. A thalassophobia horror fest at times. Let me look up what that means. Thalassophobia. Thalassophobia is an intense phobia or fear of large bodies of water. If you have thalassophobia, you may be afraid of the ocean, sea, or at large lakes. Some people may deal with a little anxiety about the ocean, but for others, being afraid of the sea can be a bigger problem. So, I don't have Thalassophobia, but I remember playing my Nintendo 64 and getting, like, the fear of the ocean injected into me by Donkey Kong 64 and Banjo-Kazooie. Because every time I went into the ocean in one of those games, I would get attacked by something, and that would be very scary. Uh, Game Speaking says, I meant to say lore! I accidentally said roll! Okay, okay, I'll... I'll try to see. I'll try to see what the what the hell the lore is about. I don't know. Depends. We'll see. Uh huh. Curdy Wordy super chat <laughs> ten dollars and says, "I just got my membership yesterday." Sick. Welcome to the toxic cesspit, my dude. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, spot on. Hey Phil, how you doing? I'm pretty it's good. It's me, the yeah. guy who made the sculpture of fire a while back. Ooh. Excited you're playing Subnautica. This game is phenomenal. Also wondering how do you switch fire's emotions on stream? I use a pro I use a pro holy shit, so many farts today. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this game probably as much as you are with RE4. Interesting. I've memorized everything about this game to the point I know the map better than the city I live in IRL. Wait. Thrilled to see you play. Wait. Does that mean that this map is not randomly generated? Phil, I feel with this game you are either gonna be a coward or go face first and die. It's probably gonna be the latter considering how much I do that I tend to do that in games in general. Thank you, player. Also thank you Keeks for that donation. And thank you Spotten for that other donation. 
Uh, just to answer Spoton's question, I use the program called ViadoTube. You can find on itch, itch, like itch. Uh, you can find on itch, itchio. Uh, ViadoTube is pretty good. It just switches between a bunch of images, and I use a mouse with a bunch of keypads, with a keypad on the side to be able to change the motions on the fly without even changing my hand off the mouse. It's pretty good. Uh, apparently object locations are randomly generated, but the map is not. Interesting, that already, that already makes me more interested about this game, because I usually don't like randomly generated content. I usually randomly, randomly generate content becomes samey after a while, so if this map is actually purpose, purposefully made, that may be really good for me. Uh, let's see... Iris Baggins has been a member for three months and says, Oh yeah, Subnautica! Have fun in the ocean, buddy! Thank you. And Jay Parker says, Jay Parker has says, Man, I love this game. Glad you're finally playing it. Yeah! Speaking of which, we should probably begin the game. Don't worry, I already have it set up. Subnautica! Lichy Steg has been a member for one month and says, Hey Phil, been really excited for this stream. Hope you enjoy the game as much as I do. Yeah! Uh, Spoton asks, By the way, what do you think of the Phi sculpture? I really like it! You really captured the pose with the- with Phi sitting on the barrel and looking at the- at the- at the- at the thing. Like, you really made that shit super fast, dude. Congratulations. I don't know if I retweeted it. I retweet a lot of stuff and my memory is not very good, but I, I probably should have retweeted it. I I don't see why I wouldn't have. But yeah, good job with that. Alright. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Black Pessy. Time to see what's up. I already have the game set up. Uh, I don't think there's any subtitle options. If your playthrough of this game is anything like your Outer Wilds playthrough, we are in for a wild ride. Wild ride. Well, this is going to take a lot of time. Oh, I need to switch back to 60 FPS. There we go. V-Sync on. Subtitles enabled. Good. Mythical Drawer says, if you weren't scared of, of water now, you will be after this game. Ooh. Hey, Hayden. How are you doing? Hey there, Phil. Hello. I mentioned in the Choo Choo Charles stream that my car broke down during a blizzard. Now I'm swapping an engine for the first time because F me, I guess. Hopefully the new engine will be not as much of an issue with you. Thank you, Hayden. If you weren't scared of water now, you will be after this game. We'll see. Iris Baggins, Super Chats and says, Phil, I jumped out of my skin when you said my nickname. I had already forgotten I did three months, the, the thing, the three months thing, and my soul left my body. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Are we ready, boys? We ready? 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 I think we're ready. I think we good. All right, let's get to it. I wonder where Nikki is. I haven't seen her on the chat. Hopefully, she has time to watch the stream. Nikki, like Nikki, the one, the one number one game that Nikki wanted to see me play is Subnautica. So hopefully, she's gonna enjoy either the stream or the vod. I'm not really sure. Either way, a lot of people have been recommending me this game, and I'm glad that I finally got to play it. Let's see. New game. Survival. Crash land on a dangerous alien planet, scavenge resources, and manage hunger slash thirst to survive. Freedom. Like survival, but without hunger or thirst. Hardcore. Survival mode with only one life. No O2 alerts. Creative. Build anything with no constraints, oxygen, food, pressure, and then disabled. Well, obviously I'm gonna pick out survival. Phil, I jumped out of my skin when you said my nick. I yeah, had obviously. already forgotten I did the three months thing and my soul left my body. A ship? Crashing down? Altera. Hey, Baguette! Thank you for the six months. Fish time! Altera.
Press any button to continue. Attention. Oh. Oh. I do hope you enjoy this game. For me, it's been a bit buggy because of my hardware, but it's still just as good. Thank you, user. Oh. oh. Shit, boy. Oh. Right in the head. That's got to leave a mark. That's a pretty cool animation, actually. Oh boy! Well, time to escape. Yeah. Ow! Ow! All right, that wasn't that much of an issue. Putting in emergency mode. You have suffered minor head trauma. This As is always. an optimal outcome. Ick. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Listen, thank you. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Don't worry about the brain damage. I've had that a long time ago. One, two. Three corresponding elements for the PDA. We have an inventory. We have a grid inventory, which I very much like. We got our equipment, blueprints, beacon manager, photo manager. Day one. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive. Keep you alive in an alien world. Please refer to data or the, to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Oh boy. Oh boy. Start here. If you're reading this, you have survived an emergency evacuation of a capital class ship equipped with Altera technology. Congratulations! The hard part is over. Your PDA has automatically rebooted in emergency mode. This operating system has one directive, to keep you alive on a hostile alien world. And if that is not possible, it will alert salvage teams to the location of your remains. It features full monitoring of vital signs for timely survival advice, blueprints for fabricating an range of essential survival equipment tailored to your environment, onboard camera, microphone, and OCR technology for short-range situational analysis, cross-compatibility with all Altera compliant products. Compliant products. N NB, your personal and work files have been encrypted and may be retrieved at a later date by a licensed engineer. Arrival checklist. Administer first aid if required. Take inventory of available materials and supplies or on rations and site on rations. Survi survey the environment for threats and resources. Construct necessary survival equipment using a life pods fabricator. Check life pod for damage and repair as necessary. Broadcast local distress signals using life pod short range radio. Locate other survivors using Ooh, other survivors? Using line of sight or the radio. Find or construct more a more permanent habitat. Maintain physical and psychological health until rescue. NB this information is meant as a general guide. In the first instance, you should always follow the advice of your PDA, which is taken particular circumstance into your into account. Warning! Blueprint database corrupted. Damage to your PDA's hard drive has been corrupted approximately 80% of stored survival blueprints. Great! Great! Blueprints may be reacquired by scanning a salvage technology using a handheld scanner, or by downloading plans from a ship board data box. In the circumstances, these assets will most likely be found amongst wreckage from the Aurora. Okay, there's a shit ton to read. I'm not gonna read all that, I just needed to start with uh, some basics. Thank you for the first aid, kid. There we go. Let's go out onto the ladder and see what happens. 
Oh my fucking god, that's cool. Orbital pile failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Well, fuck that about the survivors. I'm the only one. At least I have my flippers on. Did I just go? Maybe go into the wreckage of the ship, see what happens. Oh man, there's fucking nothing for miles. Phil is the kind of guy to see a car wreck and record it instead of help, lol. Uh, actually, uh, one time in my old high school, the gym caught on fire and the only thing I did was to bring a chair from a classroom and bring some popcorn from a kiosk and then just kind of watch as the like <laughs> as the as the fucking firefighters were pu putting out the flames it was really cool oh boy oh boy getting your feet wet i mean what the fuck else was i supposed to do not like i can help put out the fire and i was hungry I really want to look down, but looking down seems... Oh, that's pretty, actually. Only have 40 seconds of oxygen. 45 seconds. Giant coral tubes. Woo! Let's go towards the ship! Ooh. Hello? Limestone. Please and thank you. Don't her don't head for the ship, Phil. That is the biggest object that I could possibly go toward. Like, there's nothing else to go toward, idiots. I need to go somewhere. This. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. I'll leave you to it. I don't want to hurt you. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. All good. Go pet it. Seems very pettable. Ooh. My hunger meter is going down very fast. How the fuck do I have a thirst meter? 99% of this fucking planet is water. Mm -hmm. I like my shadow. It's salt water. Yeah, but water is water. More wreckage. Radiation detected? Oh, fuck me, okay. Let maybe just go around it then. Yeah, I just go around then. Oh, fuck, no, no. Look at this giant boy. Ooh, uh, stop it with the radiation. Eat something. I don't have shit. There are Russians on the escape pod. Also, the escape pod can be fixed. Mm, it's a bit too late for that. Thank you, ice cream. Ooh, look at that giant moon. Is that a moon? Oh, that's another planet. 
Oh, I think the- What the fuck? What is that? Hello? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> okay, 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 never mind, I'm gonna go back. Yep, never mind. Yep, 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 What is that one? Oh my god, why is it night already? If any one of us expected Phil to stay in the shallows, we really did fool ourselves, Fuck. didn't we? Fuck! Also, Phil, there's a thing to make stuff on your life pot. Alright, let's go back to it then. Got it. Got the message. Got the message. Loud Phil's and clear. Water literally will just extract all the water from your cells and dehydrate you. You will basically go insane before death. But it's water! Oh, is it still chasing me? I don't know. Okay. Shit, I need something to eat. And something to heal myself. Shit. Shit, fuck. Oh, Phil, by the way, Terry, some big fishes. Yeah, that's some- that's a big fish. I thought- I thought- I thought I was gonna- I thought I needed, like, to go- Deeper into the water to find some big fish that were gonna try to kill me. Apparently not. Apparently just some are on the f on the fucking surface. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, well. Man, this is very dark. Oh, what's that? Hello. Accidentally timed that perfectly. Maybe I can hide inside these, like, little trenches in case a big fish comes. Ooh. Hello. Whoa! Whoa! Okay! Oh! Whoa! That was a little fish. Nowhere is safe. Well, at least I got back to my escape pod. That is very nice. All our power cells online. Oh, this can be recharged. Nice. Damaged radio, use repair tool. I do not have a repair tool. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure, blah 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a locker on the floor. Ooh. Oh, I see. It's like one of those things that it like are in a submarine. Got it. Well, I have a very limited home right now. Hmm. Use the fabricator. Hello, fabricator. Sec damage secondary systems. Use repair tool. Ooh. Resources. Basic materials. Right. I don't have the ability to craft anything at the moment. This is water. Disinfected water, microorganism free. Bleach! All right. Equipment. Can't really create anything at the moment.
Got it, got it. Ooh, thank you. Storage container. We got a flare. Increased local radiation levels. Oh no. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core. water. Nutrient damage. block. Shit. Oh, the entire station, the entire the entirety of the Aurora is like radiated. That's why I couldn't get close to it. Hmm. Hopefully I don't get completely irradiated in my home. Yeah, this space is very small, but it's very packed with stuff. Hey, nothing to lose here. If something resembles a rock, beat it up. A lot of rocks in the ocean, buddy. Alright, well, at least I got some amount of... ...resources. I got some nutrient blocks... ...layers... Ooh! Useful for distracting certain predators. That's actually very good. <laughs> Look at this badass! Alright, so if I ever find one of those big fishes again, I can use that to distract them and get away. Finally! Daytime again. Mm. Administer first aid if required. Take inventory of the available materials and supplies. Decide on rations. Survey the environment for threats and resources. Yeah, I definitely did that. Construct necessary survival equipment using the life pots fabricator. Yeah, that's the thing at the left. On the right. Repair if necessary. Broadcast... Local distress signal. Alright, so! I guess our first uh, item of interest is going to be gathering some resources. Let's go! Let's see what we can find around us. Is this a thing? Am I able to punch things in the ocean? I'm not. What the? What is that thing? Can I beat you up? You look like a bunny. A weird alien water bunny. Oh! Metal salvage. Alright, that should be useful. Oh, more metal salvage? Yes. Hmm. Okay, during the- during the day, this is much more calming. I like that. Hopefully I don't run out of oxygen. Oh, did I want- did I go into a cave? Oh, please. Oh, boy. 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 Got it, but I need to go up. Swim to the surface. Fuck! Sulfur is an essential thing. Let's go into the caves and see if we can find anything. Quartz. 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 Creature egg. Acid mushrooms. Hello. Quartz. Uh, something. What? The shift that fuck. Fuck me, dude. Don't be so mean about it. Cave sulfur is found in the nest of that thing that just chased you. Oh boy. Well, get a scanner and keep yourself safe. Thank you, Suki. Keep yourself safe too. Yeah, I'm just gathering resources in this cave. Oh. 
Ooh, limestone Copper ore. Is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. What? What? Thank you. Oxygen. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, hey, I can actually stand in here. Nice. Not many places to stand. Pable coral. How's my inventory doing? A bit too many acid mushrooms! Let's see if we can make anything with the stuff that we found. Purple fungus, acidic flesh. Just put all that there. I am currently running out of hunger, so consume that. Uh, water. First aid kit, I still don't need that at the moment. And let's use the fabricator. Ooh, we got some recipes! Basic materials. Titanium, basic building material. Craft. Woo! Hey, Noddle. Thank you for the membership for one month. I uh, forgot about the stream and just got here. What did I miss? Oh, I got I got killed by fishies. But right now, we're just kind of finding out what to do around here. Uh, glass. Why would I need glass? Upper wire. Equipment. Ooh. Standard O2 tank. Compressed breathable air. Pipe. Loading air pump. Fire extinguisher. Make a scan- As long as I have titanium and I have a battery, I can make a scanner. Which is very useful. Repair tool. I would probably need cave sulfur for that, and I need silicon rubber. Flashlight. Survival knife? Da I would need that. Computer chip. Waterproof. Locker. Small storage solution that maintains position in the water. Repair tool and the knife is the best thing at the moment. So I would need to get... Sea Glide? Ooh. And I can't have water yet. Okay. I think I would probably get an O2 tank. That does sound very useful. So, our main objective right now is to get a scanner, repair tool, and survival knife. And for that, we need a battery and silicon rubber and cave sulfur. Habitat Builder fabricates a habitat compartments and appliances from raw materials. All right. Let's get ourselves an O2 tank so we can breathe a little bit more under the water. High capacity O2 tank. All right. We need standard O2 tank, class, titanium, and silver ore. We don't have any of that. All right. 30 seconds of oxygen. Compressed breathable air. Metal salvage composed primarily of titanium. Oh, I need to get more of that, actually. Let me just get more titanium. And uh, I'll just keep the glass. Put all that there. That doesn't take up our inventory. Do we really need the acid mushrooms? Creature egg. I'll just keep it there for now. Oh, I can make silicone rubber by getting a creep bind seed cluster. I've seen those, actually. And I can make bleach with salt and coral tube. Acid mushrooms are for the batteries. 
And yeah, I need copper for that, and I need acid mushroom. <gasps> we can make a battery right now, actually. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, scanner. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. I will need this. All right, our next the our next objective is to get a repair tool and a survival knife. I need to get silicon rubber and titanium for that. I already have titanium. I have cave sulfur, and I need some silicon rubber. And to get silicon rubber, I need to get creep bind seed cluster. Oh, I it's pinned. Nice. And I have all the other materials for that. Boop, beep, boop. And drink some water. I'll re definitely need water eventually. Alright! Let's head down. Scan anything. Self scan. Scan myself. Complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Giant coral tubes. A peeper. Come here, peeper. Peeper! Peeper! Peeper? Peeper. Indigenous life forms. A peeper! Ooh. They look much cuter when they're not, like, looking right at me. Exploration is key in the early and late game. I'm gonna do a lot of that. Faint needle. I have a lot more oxygen to work with, which is nice. Yeah, it seems like everything can be... ...scanned. What the fuck is that? Hello, are you friendly? Hello, are you friendly? Scan? Gasopod. Oh, ew, ew, the fart gas. Oh, they're water cows. Ew, ew, ew. Fucking fart gas. Don't piss them off, I'm not planning to. I just wanna see what they're about. Rabbit ray. Oh hello. Shuttle bug. Don't don't go away from me, I just wanna scan you. Yeah. Give me that quartz. Creature egg. Oh, Gary fish. Hello, Gary. <laughs> they look so fucking funky in the bio screen. Thirty seconds. I really need to increase my oxygen capacity. Like, I can go... I wish that I could go into the water without having to go up every every few seconds, you know? This place seems very cool to explore. Gary loves you. A boomerang. I need to find the little glowy yellow thingies. So that I can get some rubber material. Let's explore around. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Careful. What is this? Floater. They seem to be 
friendly enough. Give me all that. Please don't escape, Rabbit Ray. I just want to scan you. Please. Please. There we go. Well, do not mess with those. It's a lot of things that I shouldn't be messing with. Uh, pick more of that. Well, what are you doing? I'm just looking around. See that? Ooh. I like it when the when it goes all glowy. Ooh. Can I scan these? Ladder fish. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. <laughs> do I just have the bladder fish on my Yes I do, I just grabbed it. Coral shell plane. What if I just use it? Oh no. Let me scan you at least to know what you do. And grab. It seems so peaceful. I really hope I don't fucking run into one of those assholes again. He's strangling the poor fish. I don't even know what to use him for. I really need to find one of those yellow things again. I swear I see saw them before. That inventory's still good. Don't forget to save, Phil. I will not. Save. I should probably go into the caves if I want to find more resources. The bladder fish can make water. I would very much like that. I think I'm going a bit too far away from my escape pod. What the fuck is that? Is that a thing? Hold on. Oh, that's a thing! Hello. Hello. Can I scan you? Hello, you're pretty. Oh my god. Hello! Hello! Woo! Elephants of the sea. Can I scan you? Get scanned on, idiot. Indigenous life forms. The Reefback Leviathan. Oh, <gasps> another one! Oh, I get it because the, its back is a reef. With mushrooms in it. Nice. Oh, barnacle? Silver! Yes! Are an essential component of many habitat modules. Where it will go to? Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Thank you, PDA.
Pick the barnacle. Grab it. More hopper. Hello, boy. You look like a you look like a sh like a sand creature from Half Life. I like that. All right. Seems like this boy is clean. Let's go check that boy out then. The days and nights of this planet are very fast. I don't know how to feel about that. Oh boy. Would you do you have some barnacles I can break? Yes you do. What's this one? Writhing weed. Weed, 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 weed. Let me scan you. Stop writhing. Stop writhing. Stop it! Stop it! Let me scan you! Holy shit, boy, calm down. Look right there. Come on, boy. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive <gasps> may result in a quantum detonation. What does that mean? Do we, have a, do we have a time limit until that shit explodes? Well, I can't really scan it. Whatever. Oh, another one. Yeah, I think this thing refuses to be scanned. Well, the ship will explode. It's cool to watch. Hopefully I get to watch at a safe distance. Tiger plan. What the fuck? Oh. Asshole. Let me scan you, bitch. Get scanned on. A pirus. Pirus. Favorite character. All right. Ooh, more wreckage. Let's go down. Under the sea, under the sea, down here it's better. Where that did wetter? Under the what the fuck is that? Just ignore it. Spade fish. PDA data. I don't know what that means. I'm just salvaging resources. Ooh, what is that rock? Mail salvage? Why do I need to scan that? I know, bitch. Just give me some time. Grab it. Man, these guys look beautiful. You should scan fragments in the kelp biome. There's something called a sea glide. It'll help you swim faster. I would very much like that. I just need to grab some stuff. There's a rock in there that I want to get. Hello, rock. Are you are you good? Are you a good rock? Salt deposit. Special equipment is required. Fuck. What about this smaller rock over here? I have gotten the rock. Hello? Whoa! Scan! Bye-bye. Pick up pick up this rock. Ooh, sea glide fragment. Thank you. Go up again. Oh, sandstone chunk. 
Silverstone. Oxygen. No! No! Fuck! No! Well, that's okay. Did I keep my inventory, though? Shit! I got lead. Did I keep all my... data bank stuffs? I did. Shit. Oh, well, let's go back for it. Man, I got some good stuff, too. Oh, actually, this is not the way to go. Well, maybe it is. Let's let's go. Let's go down. Let's go down and see. You'll get an air a aid bladder. They give you 15 seconds of air and shoot you upwards towards the surface. Ooh. Limestone. Titanium. This guy can just break rocks open with his bare goddamn hands. Calm down. Calm down. Ow. Temperamental fuck. Give me that rock. Give me that rock. Give me that rock. Give me that rock. How did I miss the start of Subnautica? Hey Tiberius. I've been waiting for this one. Yellow heart. Yellow heart. Yeah. Just kind of looking around the place, seeing if I can find anything. <laughs> this is cool music. I haven't done anything cool. I don't want your fart, fart gas. Get out of there. Quartz. Quartz. This doesn't look like they're writhing, writhing weed from before. Not even writhing. Limestone. Egg. Egg. Yeah, I, I think I got a good, good haul from that. Good. I still need to find the little glowy stick thingies. I have none of that, and I really need it. Is there a bi- like, is there a specific biome that has those, like, really yellow glowy thingies in it? Is that a laugh? The kelp forest, the vines. Let's go check the vines. Oh, there they are. Perfect, thank you. Ooh. Alright, we're not that far away. So we're gonna collect as many of these as possible. And then get the fuck back. There we go. I knew I knew you were here somewhere. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Very game like. Inventory full. Oh the What? Whoa! Hello. Scan you. Fishy. Thirty 
30 seconds. Ah! I always forget about the oxygen. Fucking weird stalker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'll be able to make uh, some defense weapons and I'll be able to make some basic tools with this silicone. You know what? Sea Glide! I think that's actually very important. Yes. Now let me go munch on this. And I have very little water. Let's take out the rubber from these things. Silicone rubber! More silicone rubber! More silicone rubber! More silicone rubber! 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 There we go. Now I can make... Ooh, I could- <gasps> I can make a high capacity O2 tank. Hold on a second. Hold on a motherfucking second. Give me quartz. Give me this, give me this, give me this. I need glass and silver ore. So just make glass. Make glass. Oh, did I miss the silver ore because, because I died? Oh, I need the silver ore. Ah, I got it from the back of the thing, but then I died. Uh, okay. Well, I will get that back eventually. Lace. Uh, let's make a survival knife. Weapons were removed. Weapons! Survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. What the fuck? The knife remains the only exception. Alright. That will be my only weapon. And let's use a fixer upper. Okay, so for a sea glide, we need lubricant, copper. <gasps> we can totally make that already. We can totally make that. Oh, but I. Spent it all on silicon rubber, actually. Yeah, okay, we need to go and do one last expedition for that. Hold on a second. Before it goes dark, I need to do it. I have my knife. Kill stuff with it. Let's get that lube! It needs just a little bit of lube, come on. Where's the lube? Yeah. 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 That's some wife. Well, that fills up really quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it, bitch. Got it, bitch. We should be able to make lube out of that, and we can get a glider, which is going to make this a lot easier, I think. Hey, Fizz! Love this game. Hope you enjoy it. It's going pretty well so far. Considering that we basically have nothing to work with, I'm pretty happy with what we currently are getting. Alright, so. Wait, fins? What? 
Translate vertical climb movements on the water into a forward thrust. Enhance climb speed by approximately 15%. Give me that. Oh, it's like little paddles. Give me. Oh, I don't have space in my inventory for it. Hold on. Boop, beep. Boop. Beep. Boop, beep. Boop. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment yeah. equipment using locally available materials. For now, safety, make some lube. Lubricant is essential in Fiber mesh. And power plants. Copper wire. All right. Sick. Wow, that's a big one. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please oh, there's a charge. Oh, for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Hmm. Got it. And put this. Ooh. Ooh, we don't have. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Sick. It indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. That's the only thing I can do. Your routine for uniform muscle development. All right. We need to get a repair tool. Here we go. And let's start repairing the ship. Hello! Yeah, it's not gonna help. Shit. Well, can I at least repair this? There you go! There you go! Nice. Anything else to repair? Status, okay. Secondary systems online, outgoing radio communications offline, incoming radio communications online, flotation devices deployed, hull integrity, okay. Environment, uncharted ocean planet, 4546B. Oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, waterborne bacterial levels high. The dirty planet. Ho-ho! <laughs> That shit's moving really fast, man. Jesus. Land re recorded distress call. This mm -hmm. is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Oh, I met that one. Come get us already. Oh, fuck. Signal location uploaded to PDA. So much stuff. Read. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. Aww. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. There you go. Life pod 17, stranded near a cave system and under attack. Well, I guess we have to rescue those guys. I would really appreciate some weapons aside from a survival knife, though. 
Air bladder. Ooh, I can use that for a f emergency flotation device with a bladder fish. Laser cutter, habitat builder, flare, flash line. Oh, I just need some battery, some batteries and some glass for that. Hold on a second. Can't make batteries. Copper, of course. Well, we got most of what we wanted. We just kind of need some silver and some copper for the rest. Like, I have glass, I just need silver for the high capacity O2 tank. And I need waterproof locker. Can I just place that here? Can't drop item here. Use storage containers instead. Oh. Yeah, that kind of works. Yeah, okay. <laughs> just place it around the escape pod. Got it. Copper, this, battery, and make some, what, ah, glass, hold on, I'm not very good with inventory management in these kinds of games. I like the... Okay, there you go! We'll be able to... Use this. In case we need to... In case we're trapped in the darkness. Perfect. Alright, I think our inventory is full. We got most of what we needed. We need to watch out for silver. To make an extended O2 tank. We can probably get some silver on the way to the signal. The distress... The stress signal. I should probably also take a flare with me. In case... Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's yeah, whatever, bitch. has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Oh, what? Really? Wait, two hours in game time? Or like, two hours like right now? Also, let me get this off my blueprints. In-game hours. Isn't like an hour in this game like a few minutes? Go to the edge of the map. Don't worry, you're fine. Okay, but I want to see that explosion though. That planet is so goddamn cool. It's like 30 minutes. Oh well. I'll... I'll try to get a look at that in case that happens. That's fast! And it also has lights. Neat. I can definitely get away from danger if I have this. Whoopa! Like a fishy! Yeah, boy. He doesn't seem like actually very threatening. He just seems to be doing his thing. He just seems like he's having a time. He doesn't. Se he doesn't seem threatening. Sand shark. Yeah, he just seems like he's doing. He's going through some issues. He doesn't seem very aggressive. Oh, another le another leviathan! Hold on. Th those people can wait. I just kind of want to see what happens with the with the big boy. Hello, sir. Do you have some silver on your back? Oh, 
Nope, you have copper. Copper. Silver! Thank you, sir! That is very much appreciated. Let's go check your buddy out. Copper. Papyrus. Violet view. Oh, give me that bladder fish. And what's a rouge cradle? Seems cool though. Copper ore. And that should be good. Thank you, sirs. You're very kind. Have you ever considered playing Sea of Thieves with Nick and Kako, or Ellie if one of them isn't available if you want to? Ah, uh, I'm not really into pirate ship games. Gold! We're basically, basically rich. Hello. Past oh, spadefish. What does that mean? Seek fluid intake. Oh shit, we need water. Scanner room fragment. 30 seconds. What do you mean? Oh shit. Integrating new PDA data. Wait, how do I- how did I make water again? Hold on a second. How did I make water? With a bladder fish! That's actually perfect. We just got a bla- we just got a bladder fish, so that's kinda neat. Uh, scan. Scan. Scanning. 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 Oh! I love their big noises, big boy noises. 30 seconds. I really need that high, high oxygen tank. Wow. Alright, let's see what that escape pod is about, and then we can go back home, and then we can get some water, and then we can make a high oxygen tank. We need to collect those bladder fishes, if that's the only way we can get water. Need that. Need that. Oh. 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 Alright, boys. You good? Seems like not. Your boys are dead. Suckers. Seymour. Bitches, be damned. Oh no 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 there we go was almost worried there for a second let's go back home that's why- that's what you get for crashing there and not over here. I know, bitch! Hydration is important, just let me get home! Bitch.
Got it. Seek, fl seek the fluid immediately. That's what she said. I'm gonna go make water over here. Ooh, I can cook food as well. Got it. I need bleach for a disinfected water. Wait, why would you drink bleach? All right, whatever. There we go. I am going to need more bladder fishes. Dirt food. Ooh. Nice. I can now also make a floating air pump and let me get some titanium and some glass. Glass. Boopy boopy. Wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? What am I doing? Boop beep boop beep boop beep boop. Do I need more silver? No, I just need more titanium and more gla glass. What happened? Oh! What happened to the other, other stuff? Uh... Maybe that... Oh, do I seriously not have enough titanium? Shit. Ah, oh, shit. Just a little bit more titanium. Just hold on a second. Titanium, 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 Hello. Not, not copper. Titanium. Oh, stop it. I can kill you now. Don't test me, boy. I killed this guy, too. Oh, he didn't give me anything. I'm sorry, boy. There you go. What? I need more fluid again? Ah, uh, hold on. Letterfish. Ooh, what is this? Right, 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 right. Let's just get the let's just get the water tank before we die. Let's just get the water tank. Blah, 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 blah. Titanium. Aurora will explode soon, Phil. I not sure what to do about that. Right. Oh, I can eat. Thank you. Uh, big. Maybe make more metal salvage. I mean, make more titanium. Got a bit too much titanium. Finally! Yeah! Sick! Alright. And that should be good. Did I make bleach again? Salt deposit and coral tube sample, which I do not have. Rebreather. I need a wiring kit and conserves oxygen while diving deeper, absorbs and recycles CO2 into breathable air. Wiring kit. How do I make a wiring kit? Silver ore. Do I have enough silver for that?
I do not. Okay, next next is getting silver, I guess. More silver. Well, you need water. I am painfully aware of this. Alright, well. Seek fluid intake immediately. Time to get those bladders. Oh, the game just has has it there for me. Good. Oh, you guys are all getting turned into water. Oh, all y'all fuckers. All your fuckers. Open storage. Nothing. All y'all fuckers getting turned into my fucking dinner tonight. What the fuck? Oh. I'm gonna drink some fish. It's a lot of water. <sighs> ah, good. Could leave some of that over there. Probably make some batteries. Let's put some batteries to use. There you go. With the fire. Oh, what? I need to see it. Emergency. A quantum detonation there we go. has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. All right, time to die. Will reach a supercritical state. Eighty minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Sick. Wait, does that mean that the radiation cleared up? Nope. If anything, it's gotten worse. Got it. A wiring kit. Rebreather. Radiation suit. I need lead for that. Hmm. Miscellaneous. Alright, well, those are all the things that we need to collect. I don't really need to collect water anymore. Red Bozo Ship. R.I.P. Bozo Ship. Yup. Well, that was cool. Any radio messages? This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. She gonna be dead. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Radiation suit. Right, well, we need to go take a rebreather. For that, we need a lot of items. Silver. Well, mostly we're gonna go get silver and we're gonna get some other stuff. Hey Phil, have you heard of 12 Minutes? Yes, that was one of the games that I actually played to completion before I started streaming. I don't really very much like the ending very much. Alright. Uh, is it safe to even go out during the night? Ah, this isn't fucking Minecraft. Let's go. We're actually get going through it. Give me that. We're going through it pretty good. Picking up fishes along the way. Ooh. Other fish. What I miss, Phil? 
just basically the main introduction to the game. But now we're just trying to go find some screwed up life pods. I mean, all that water, son. Yo, boy. Oh, you're actually intact. Very nice. Listen to the message from the life pod you want to. I will. And I will also do this one. Integrating new PDA data. Loud. Data box. Ooh. New blueprint acquired. Sick. And some metal for my troubles. Boomerang. Ooh, what is that? I stalk. Ooh, what is this? It is your primary. God, okay. Right, man, calm down. Ooh, hello, rock. Got some lead. Salt. Ah! Fuck you. Ooh. That's salt. Mesmerizing. I feel like I'm pretty well equipped at the moment. Oh, you know, I should probably get some of that... Some of those little thingies, I forgot what they were called. Sea glide fragment. These thingies, I forgot what they were called, but I can cut them up. Oh, my inventory's full. Yeah, I got way, way, way too much stuff. Maybe drop something? Nah, everything is essential. We just need to go. Is there any item that will expand my inventory, or is that it? Probably it, right? It's already a pretty big inventory. My oxygen levels are finally to a comfortable spot. Suit upgrade? Maybe. No, no inventory expansion. Got it. Ooh. Pump has. Need a wiring kit and a copper wire for that. Just make some water. I like that we're b just turning these fish into bottles of water. Man, poor fish. What did this hoverfish do? Put the water bottles there. Yeah, I really need some upgraded storage. I would like you to become... Oh, we still don't have silver. Mm. This cannot... Yeah, this cannot be used to make silic... like... fiber meshes yet. I think I can make with these fish. Except from just food. No, no. Hmm. 
Yeah, I need I need silver, 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 silver. Silver, 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 silver. All right. Silver, 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 silver. Where do you find silver? The only silver that I found has been through the backs of Leviathans. Nothing aside from that. Oh, I could have I could have opened up my inventory if I just Okay, there we go. Let's just make some titanium. Sandstone chunks. Is that the only way we just break rocks? A rock over here. Guess we just have to go stoning. Go to the red kelp area for silver. All right. That is not good. Put all my silver, I mean, put all my titanium in there. What is this music? Ooh. Now, where the red kelp area is, that is a complete mystery. Let's go into this cave. Titanium, quartz, copper, titanium, titanium, copper. Ooh. Titanium, copper, lead. Gold, lead, copper, oil fish. Ah, motherfucker, I'm gonna kick your ass. Fuck out of here. Ah, whatever. The Kako Demon. Titanium. Titanium. Copper. Yeah, limestones aren't really giving us much silver. Titanium. Quartz. And my inventory is full. Great. This music is funky. Finally made it to the stream. How's it going? Pretty well. We're just collecting resources. I really need some silver right now. I really, really need silver. Maybe we can cook some fish. Yeah, I actually do need some food right now. Good eating around the fins. Cooked whole fish. Cooked whole fish. Ooh, cured whole fish. Give me that, please and thank you. Nom. Nom. No. No. All right. Quick question. Why am I talking what like a sim? Made you want to go to college in the first place, and what disillusioned you of it? Oh. Because I wanted to get my certification for software development. What disillusioned me of it? Uh, college is a fucking trick. 
They don't really care about you learning anything. They just want you to click, like, tick on the boxes that they, that the professors are required you to do. Any knowledge that you would be able to get from college can be gleamed or understood or learned from the internet and you from just reading the stuff that you're interested in. College will not give you any knowledge if it's no that you didn't, stream on the day find. Limbus Company comes out, I must be hallucinating. What a, a hell's Limbus Company? Thank you. But yeah, no. If you are going to college with the expectations that you're going to learn very valuable skills for your job, you are an idiot. The only thing that college is worth for is being able to get your certification for whatever career you want. If you're genuinely expecting to learn from it, you're miss you're going to miss out. And with college is most of the professors don't really care if you learn anything, so you they will just tell you go do this thing. And you'll just have to basically google all the information that you need and then they will just ask you do this do this test that barely even like proves that you know anything and then you will do half the work necessary for it and you're done you they, they don't really care aside from that does it look like you could learn then you're fine it's not it's fucking exhausting and obviously, when you have to go do group projects for the things that actually need to be done and made, then you need to really know what you're doing, because the, the fucking classmates that you're settled with, like, are just, like, fucking making it up as they go along, so they can't really learn or, like, do the things that they're required to do. So eventually, like, either you have to do fucking everything, or you have to, like, teach them how to do their job. It's so bad. It's so fucking bad. Have to be staying up until like fucking six in the morning to be able to like give out a like a like a like a like a project in time. And then the professor looks at your project that you fucking worked your ass off to be able to make, and then he sees it and goes, Oh yeah, that looks fine. You get everyone gets an A. Regardless of whoever made the effort to actually finish the project in time. Uh. Ice cream donates two dollars and says, "I decided to drop out of college and now I'm starting an I ice cream class business." To go to soon. Have fun with the water game, and I will be back if you're still going. Thank you, Cube Boy. Uh, decided to drop out of ice cream. Says decided to drop out of college and now I'm starting an ice cream business. College isn't the ultimate destination; it's just an option for those who will benefit benefit from it. Yep, and honestly. The only people that will actually benefit from college are the people that whose, like, fucking families are able to, like, pay them to just get a degree out of it. And then you'll just do the minimum minimum effort required to get the degree. And then people will think that you're super, super smart because you have a college degree, even though it barely fucking matters. It's not, it's not a good... I did not have a good experience with college. I think it's barely worth it. If you're going to go into debt... If you're going to go into debt to get into college, don't. Never put yourself in debt for something that will be barely useful to you in the future. It is not a good idea. If your fucking family is forcing you into it, then they should pay it. If you are being forced to pay out and go into debt to go into college to get a degree that will barely be useful to you in the future, then just fucking don't and try to find a way to get a good paying job beyond college. I promise you, it will not be worth it. Alright. I don't really need flippers. Ooh! Uh, I still need silver. Cuboid says, I have class to go soon, so have fun and with the water game, and I will be back if you're still going. Thank you. I'd honestly have to agree. 
College can really suck at times, though yours sounds uniquely horrid. Anyone yeah. doing a science major, understand that it's one of the biggest workloads you'll have. Yep, pretty much. Silver, come on! I think that... Oh my god, that's... Very dark. I just need some goddamn silver in my life. Also, and also because the art careers in Mexico and mostly my city are super undeveloped, you can't study animation, you can only study 3D animation and lots of math stuff, and I suck at it. Yeah. Okay, I don't have a- I don't have- I don't have experience with art careers, but in my opinion, you're m much better off learning how to draw on your own time and following guides on the internet to be able to draw than to go to an art college. Art college and art careers seem like a remnant of the past where nobody knew how to draw unless someone that knew taught them to. I have found so many artists on Twitter and Tumblr and other social medias that learned their skills from just... Learn, like, just drawing. Just drawing and looking up people that they really admired to online and getting their stuff started from there. And eventually they managed to build themselves a career off of, like, online work and, like, commissions and, like, building up a portfolio of work on the internet that they will- that they would then be able to use for a future in, like, art and, like, cartoons and stuff. The college scam is why I went into driving. Zero debt, earn money like a career requiring a master's, see the country, yeah. and it's his ed. Yeah! Great job's good. Transportation is actually a pretty cool job. It's pretty demanding, but it's pretty cool. But yeah, like, like if you're if you're planning to go to art college, either make it a really good college that will guarantee you a job in the future, or just try to develop your own art in your hobby in your time. Decide if you get really good at it. Maybe you will get opportunities based on the stuff that you actually do, instead of just a stupid fucking paper that will allow you to get into a minimum security job that will pay you for shit and then will treat you as expendable. You know, I've I've no I have no I've known a lot of artists that have been able to get professional careers out of art just by building their own portfolios online. They didn't have to get a fucking art degree for it. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships, they run low on engine grease. They send an SOS. You offer to help. They don't pick up. Yup. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you Shit. still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Mm. Shit. Alright, let's listen to the PDAs that we found on the crash ships. PDAs, PDAs, PDAs. PDAs. How do I listen to the PDAs? Oh. Hey, Nikki! Got here late, sorry. How you liking Subnautica? It's relaxing as fuck. Very happy that you're here, Nikki. Welcome. Data downloads, Aurora survivors. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Found it. How's his log? It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. Aliens. There's weird-looking caves nearby. 
The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile what? vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero G gym. <laughs> my cafe. I don't understand how we're here Got now. here late, sorry. How don't are you liking no Subnautica? D. Are you liking Subnautica? I'm... It's relaxing as hell, Nikki. Thank you. I think it was one of the people that really pushed Subnautica for a stream, and so far it's been pretty good. Archaeology requires a master's. I hate it here. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, Chromatic. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Probably. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Mm. Alright, well, we still need some silver. We have our inventory cleared up, and we just need to go find it. As long as we have silver, we'll be fine. Where the fuck do I go from here? It is peaceful, though. Well, go back to Life Pod 17 and go look around on the rocks. It's called a, the Grassy Plateau, and there should be a lot of sandstone outcrops and silver. Thank you, Suki. Let's put that on our minimap. Here we go. My parents didn't go to college, but they want me to. <sighs> yep. The lifelong dream of many parents is to see their child become a professional. Even though they don't understand that that shit doesn't really get you a successful life anymore. It's kind of shitty. Thank you there, Silver. My parents both went to college, and that's why I had the pressure. <sighs> it's a problem. Mostly because, you know, like, older folk kind of think that college is the only path to success. And they put that fear into their children that... Oh, if you don't go to college, you'll be stuck working at McDonald's for the rest of your life. Bitch! That may have been true back during the 80s or 90s where like, barely- Oh, I'm out of- I'm out of fuel for this. Hold on. I need- I need more batteries. Anyways, like I was saying, parents in the 80s and 90s were probably right that you wouldn't be able to find a good paying job if you didn't get a college degree. But like nowadays, there's so much more communication and global outreach. You can get a lot of more opportunities than just what is around you immediately in your vicinity and in your town or city. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Like, you can find friends, you can find opportunities, you can find jobs. Just by looking around on the internet. You, you don't, you're not, like, stuck in whatever area you live in. That was much of the issue, like, before the internet came about. That you didn't really know what was out there in the world because you weren't able to go out there and look for it. But now that is just so much more easier, you know? Oh boy, some electricity around here. Can I go in here? No. Hopefully I don't die so I can get my silver into my ship. But yeah, just... Just... If you have a family or parents that want you to go to college, 
if they want you to do that, like, at least put your foot down and have them pay for it if they have the resources for it. Because if not, if they are forcing you to get into debt for a thing that you don't even want to do, that will... That, I know that your parents may want the best for you, but that sounds like a trap to me, you know? The only reason I went to college and I got my degree was because I had the opportunity to be able to do that without going into massive debt. And every single year that passes, like, scholarships get thinner and thinner, and credit gets more and more enticing, and people get more and more into debt. Student debt is a fucking curse that you should never fall into. Please! That's the one thing I'm asking you to do. I'm not telling you not to go to college. Maybe some of them, maybe some of you will really enjoy college. I don't know. It depends on the life situation of each person. But just please don't get into debt of any kind. It is a nightmare that you, it's very hard to escape from. All right. We can finally make some wiring. And we get some of this shit to recharge our pod. Not how it works. There we go. Is this battery completely out? Then. Can I just drop it? Why do why do I, I recharge it? Huh, interesting. I figured that it would just like be removed from my inventory if I don't really need it. Uh where the hell is the is the foil? I swear I had it before. What? Oh, it's probably in the storage container outside. You can recharge it later. Sick. It's in here. All right, let's make ourselves a mask. I love this fabricator. Yeah. I'm almost fully kitted out. I just need a better swimming and better gloves. I will take some water with me. And I do not have food, but I don't need to worry about that too much. There we go. Oh, what's our next objective? Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... How many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. Sick. We're gonna bring you home. Sick. Sunbeam out. Thank you. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. Ha. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. You're eventually going to want to craft the radiation suit because the explosion is causing some radiation to spread. That is true. I need some... I think I, already, I can already craft it, actually. I think I have enough lead for it. I just need some kelp. Let's go find that. Yeah, I have a lot of lead, actually. Yeah, I have a lot of materials for it. Let's just get it really quickly and craft that radiation suit. <gasps> Maybe we can explore the Aurora in that case. That would be nice. Do a self-scan. All right. I'm normal. I took my normal pills today.
I feel kitted out compared to the original. Compared to the last time, like, compared to the first few minutes of this game, I feel very prepared now. I'm confident. I had no idea what else to do, but now we have a plan. What a plan. Yeah. What's a power cell? High capacity mobile power. <gasps> I need that for my fucking glider. Please and thank you, madam. Oh, I can't actually have it. Oh, well. Oh. Well, that's a shame. Looks a little too big. Yep, that's a look. Looks a little too big. All right. Well, guess I'm done with that. Silver here. Put the glass here. Put the quartz here. And let's make ourselves a radiation suit. Yeah. Yo, Kako. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're just having a relaxing time in the water. Lined up suit, uh, proving insulation from radiation. Yeah. And a helm, a lead helmet. Isn't that dangerous? Radiation gloves. Then. Eh, it's all good. All right. Uh, should we explore the aurora now then? Because I have all the all the protection f against radiation. I could probably go get the aurora now. See what happens inside that ship. You need a propulsion gun to enter it. Uh, that's a shame. Hmm. What else can we craft that we need? Hold on. We can make a compass. Loading air pump. Repair tool, flashlight, survival knife. Habit- what the fuck is a habitat builder? Fabric fabricates habitat compartments and appliances from raw materials. Flare, air bladder, pathfinder tool, laser cutter. You get to build a base, Phil. I need that. A battery. Computer chip. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Wiring kit. More silver for that. Compass. This is a lot of stuff that we need. Wiring kit. Get her chip. Battery. I already have a lot of batteries. Round. And copper wire. That is very easy to make. Shed. Okay, I need I have gold. I just don't have table coral sample. Uh Banana Boy Super Chats two dollars and says, bought back my membership, not leaving the stream. Thank you. Thank you, Banana Boy. Hell yeah. Oh boy. All right, well, we don't have any immediate threats to take care of. We got our suits. We don't really need to uh, worry about radiation too much. What do you guys think we should do next, actually? Since, you know, this is a members only stream. Let's listen to chat suggestions about what we should do next. I got my basic kit completed. I think I'm comfortable. I have all my tools. Uh, what should be the next thing that we should try to do? 
Seamoth. Build a Bodie McBoat face. Make a base. Kidnap a creature. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know, dude. I don't know much about this game. Explore and get a vehicle. Cave exploration would be cool. Get your base up so you can have a place to be in. Habitat builder would be good. You'd get more storage. That is indeed true, Tigera. But for a habitat builder, I need a computer chip. Where can I get a ta table coral sample? Hmm. Yeah, I should make a base. Let's go get a table coral sample. Wherever the hell that is. Silver, gold, lead. Goldfish. Creature egg. Oh my god, you again! Screaming caco demon, Jesus! They're all over the shallows. Doesn't seem very shallow to me. Cool. Coral sample, coral sample. I'm not very... You, you guys already know that... Oh, oh. There you go! That's... Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Kill them with a knife. That is sick. Yeah. Man, you can get pretty much everything. Just grab everything. And we also got some silver too, so that's perfect. Sick. All right. Let's make ourselves a habitat builder. Let's also eat because we have very, very low on food. It's a big fish. All right, so we need copper wire, copper ore, gold, silver. Now we can make a wiring kit. Bought it. Uh, then we need to make a chip. For that, we need more copper. I have some copper over here. We can make a compass. I guess that would work. But I don't want to waste the wiring kit that I already have. Let's make a computer chip. And then finally, we need a battery. Need a blueprint acquired. Yeah. Habitat Builder! The Builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Maybe also get some more copper. Get your titanium ready. All right. Also. Ooh, advanced wiring kit. 
CPU used an advanced construction. I don't need it at the moment. Let's make one more chip. Just in case. And then put our stuff over here. Get get these out of the top of the right of the screen. I have a lot of coral samples now. Get the titanium. And get the... I haven't really used the flashlight much, so I'm just going to put it over here. And get the... Habitat Builder. What do I do with this? Oh. Uh, foundation? Uh, maybe a window going. Fuck. Oh, hello. No, not yet. No, no, not yet. No, 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 no. Place. Stereo modules. Base attached air pump. Stereo pieces and tier module. Miscellaneous. I guess I would just start with the foundation, right? Let me get my materials ready. What the fuck? No. I really need to sort out my inventory. Uh, compartment one. Oh, 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 what? Oh, oh, hello. Uh, I'm very afraid of building stuff that's not gonna look right. Maybe start over here. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? Yeah, okay. Oh! I can attach- attach it to this. Somehow. Build a multi-purpose room first. Okay. Multi-purpose room. Ingredients unknown, though! How do I get that? Ha. Huh. Gotta find the parts, I guess. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. We can make a foundation. That's good. I just need a foundation to start. I can put it here. Oh boy. I can put it here. Construct. Yay. All right, now we can probably make compartments. Well, I don't really have any rooms. 
Oh, we can probably grab our stuff and put it here, though. Yo, awesome to see you're checking out hey, Arcade Punk. Sorry I couldn't be here sooner. I just got finished a midterm test. How far have you gotten? I am making a... base at the moment. The ship exploded. We found a bunch of destroyed escape pods. We're just kind of chilling out. I like to have a platform that I can stand on. I feel safe in here. A little bit. Bill, you can build on underwater. I am aware. I just like I just like the the land. Yeah, we can't really build any rooms at the moment. Ooh, I can get an aquarium. Can't. I I need I need to put I need to actually make a room for these things to work. Got in. Oh, a solar panel. Yeah. Ah, shit. I need to actually have some ports for that. Thank you. Now, where in this platform would I be able to get the most sunlight? I guess over here. The sun is going towards that direction, which means it's going to rise from here. Seek fluid intake. Shut up. I'm going to put my solar panel over here, then. Power restored. All primary systems online. Alright. There's not many systems at the moment. Wait, what else does it need? Uh, more quartz. I need more. There's just a platform. Yeah, but it's a cool platform. I like it. It's my platform. There are many like it, but that one's mine. Uh, I guess I need salt. Which part, which part would be f the front of the base, though? Oh, this one it would be like this, you know? I wish I could pick these up. I can only, in like, I can only interact with them, but I can, like, I can't, like, pick them up again. Hold on. What if I just push them into the base? Yeah. 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 Oh, fuck. Yeah. 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 That works. Alright. So we have successfully built a base. Look at this. This is my base. There are many like it, but this one's mine. What is next on the itinerary for now? Got it, got it, got it. Ooh, environment scan. May support Leviathan class predators. 
Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue is unlikely. It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous material suits and extensive support Seat apparatus. I know, bitch. I know. I'm gonna drink my water in a bit. Just calm down. Ah, oh, shit, I don't have water. Six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. All Set right. Out. Signal that. coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Ooh, what is this? Nothing. Now, let's make some water. Alright. Man, we're slowly going through the bladderfish population in this game. They're gonna be extinct by the time I'm done with it. Vital signs stabilizing. Alright. I like this music. You said that the approximate coordinates were recorded. Where are those coordinates? Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Got a wreckage. And also confirms the records is from Aurora. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, where is the data? There we go. Life Pod Six transmission origin. A distress signal has been received from Life Pod Six, but the attached coordinate co coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Crew requested assistance navigating radiation sunk approximately a hundred meters, located in a dense area. Area with dense grass near a number of natural arches and rock stacks. Transmission origin approximately 400 meters west northwest of Life Pod 4's last known location. I should have fucking made a compass! Fuck! Ah. Okay, let's go to life pod. Or oh wait. Are we life pod life life pod 4? Now we're 5. Well, I know that the thing is on the red kelp whatever the fuck, so let's go there. Let's check it out. Time to hunt for more silver. Actually, yes. But it's also another objective that we need to do. Let's make some... Oh boy, oh boy. Let's make a compass. I swear the compass blueprints were in here. There we go. Also, hunting for food, that is also very important. Hello! Are you a new one? Do you have more stuff for me? Does not- I cannot get this one. I'll get this one. Ooh, new one. Raygrass shell. Thank you, sir. Approximately a hundred meters. Calorie intake 
recommended. I know, I know, I know. I'll eat some shit later. Actually, you know what? I grabbed something there. I'm gonna eat it. Nom. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. Just grab the fucking fish from, like, the, the sea and just shove it in your mouth. Shove him. Shove it in the mouth. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. Badass. Oh my god! Is that a baby one? 30 seconds. Fuck! That's a baby one! Look at the baby boy! You're far away from your parents. On oh, the back of it is clean because it hasn't aged a lot. Yeah, baby boy, the baby. Look, these are the parents. There's another baby. Baby Reefies. What is this? Red ward. I didn't know you could pick those up. Can I pick that up? Oh, I can. Inventory full once again. Man, it, the inventory is such a problem. I wish I could pick more of this stuff up. A burr. These guys are very useful. Alright, well that's it. Look at these boys! So cute. Ah, shit! Oxygen. I want the hug one. Yo, floaters are dangerous, they will fling you. Eh, I've been able to just go up to them and eat them, no problem. Oh, hello! Yeah. I really wish I could have still longer, longer oxygen so I didn't have to worry about going up to the surface. What's the longest you can stay underwater in this game? That's a genuine question, by the way. Like, 200 seconds. Oh, uh, that's not a lot, though. I'm already halfway through there. Four minutes? Forever with a base. Oh, up. Is there anything we can make with this? Hmm. I can make a secondary tank, but I don't think I can carry it. What's the sh ships about? Okay, let's time to it's time to drink bleach, I guess. Bleach is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds 
and purifying water. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration e. and eventual death. We do want to prevent death a little bit. I should probably replay the Mortuary Assistant. I really like that game. Violet B Bowsy. I don't know what bow is for. Let's make a locker. We need, really need, we need a lot of these. Maybe another one? Actually, that's a good question. Phil, what does Phi eat? Fucking anything that you can, like, that she can touch, pretty much. I think the only things that she wouldn't be able to dissolve are, like, metal and, like, cement. Let's see. There we go. Drop it. Alright, now, now we have a empty inventory. Now we can go explore. Maybe we can save beforehand? Save. We need to go find... Oh, maybe we can explore the, the, the caves, actually. See if there's anything deeper that we can go to. Do you know that 99% of people who drink bleach do not report any adverse side effects? That seems like a lie. Oh boy. I hate those guys. That's because they're dead. <laughs> Alright, I get it. Did you know that 99.9% .9 of people who drink bleach do not report any adverse side effects? <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Hello! Can I kill you? I'm gonna kill you. Do not resist. Do not resist! Do not resist! Do not resist! You cannot escape from me! I have a water glider! Do not resist! Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Bitch! Where he go? Holy shit, how much health does he have? Come on, bro!
Come on, bro. Square up. There we go. Can I eat its meat? Oh. It gave me nothing. Oh, that's kind of sad, actually. I thought it would give me some materials or something. You sadly can't eat it. Fuck, I'm really fucking hungry right now. Oh, whatever. Guess I'll pick up the little guys. Me? Ah, shit. He's, he's looking for revenge. Ah, shit. I've killed its brethren. Not these assholes again. some of these, because these materials are very useful. Take more titanium. I hey, swear I picked up some silver in the meantime. How come it's here? Yep, it's just not here. Guess I think about that. We should do another self scan. Uh huh. I am still normal. And the radio hasn't picked up anything yet. Oh man, I really need to go eat. And build another locker just in case. Locker, 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 locker. Your next objective should be to get a sea moth. What is a sea moth? Is it cute? Dooby, 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 doo ba doo. Doo ba dooby. Doo ba doo. It's a taxi submarine. Ooh, that could be good, actually. Is that in my list of things that I can make? Pulsion cannon, air bladder, pathfinder tool. Mobile? Pickle Bay, Waterproof Locker, Sea Glass- Sea Moth! There we go. Oh, but I need more- to, to scan more things so I can get the blueprints for it. Alright, let's try to go and find some blueprints. For the Sea Moth! Ah. Can make a toxic cesspit themed. Ooh. Dooby doo ba doo. Ba doo. Ba doo. Have enough copper, thank you. Dooby ba doo. Dooby doo ba doo. Ba doo. Ah. Yeah. Just need some. Oh, silver. Got it. Cargo, can I analyze you? Mm -hmm. Mobile vehicle. Ocean man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land that you understand. Do you have a fucking metal thing in your fucking mouth? That's cute! 
ocean man. And nani 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 At the ocean Ocean man. Oh, I need to actually eat the thing that I have on in my inventory. Okay, look at you, don't know, ocean man. Radiation detected. That's cringe. Just one more silver and I can finally make a compass. Ooh, I can... Yay. No lead, thank you. Old. Silver! Perfect! Maybe we can make, get even more silver? Yes! Yeah, silver is very useful. Titanium. Ugh, wish I could get more oxygen. You got a notification for a new radio message, by the way. That should be useful. I'm really liking exploring this side of the sea, though. Do 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 Land, ocean man. Gold. Oh, I'm getting pricked by those guys. Room fragment. Yeah! Scanner room. Whatever the fuck that is. Hello, land shark. You're very cute. Having a fucking aneurysm every time I see you. Yeah. What? I'll calm down. He's a bit confused, but he's got the spirit. Uh, Phil, I'm a little bit uninformed. Who's the little blob next to Phi? Oh, that is just a, a little blob. That's literally- he's literally a blob. He's supposed to represent the chat. Very cute. Blobs are supposed to be representative of the chat. Pretty much made out of the same thing that Phi is. Oh, 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 laser cutter fragment. Yeah. Uh, uh, need some salt for my fishies. Pulsion cannon. Upper. I'm really deep down, aren't I? Oh my god, I'm really deep down. Okay, let's go back up. Okay, got it.
I went really far away from my base, actually. Eat. Little baby. AC Mills! Just joined the stream. Are you having any fun yet, Phil? I'm pretty I'm having pretty much fun. It's really relaxed and quiet. Tranquil. What? Ah no, stop it! No! Hey, it's pretty tranquil. Scan this. Already got Sea Glide. Right here. What? Oh, that was a stalker. Never mind. Ooh, I should probably get some water on the way back. Hold on. Oh, people. Oh. Oh. All y'all coming with me. And some food. Can I kill you? You seem tasty. And I can't grab that. Okay. We also need to recharge our little booster thingy. I love that planet in the distance. It looks so big. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora, we're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. Sounds like that a fucking centrist. A whole lot of the latter. Might just be for it. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Thank you, Sunbeam. Sit back up on my chair. I was fucking almost falling down. Hello, Moy. A bit off topic, but since I do enjoy drawing dog like creatures the most, I decided to draw some Fi and Blob doggy concepts. Shared on Twitter. May draw more Fi dogs soon. Interesting. I'll look it after the stream, if that's okay with you. Let's get some copper. We can finally build ourselves a compass. And also, we should probably get some batteries so that we can... get a replacement for the booster pack. Oh, I need more copper. Hold on. And with that, we can make a compass. Feels like cookie clicker almost. Display is compass heading on the HUD. Yay! Now we can at least go around, like, get the nearest available direction for. Ooh, spines. For the crashed pod that we haven't found yet. What else did I want to make? Yes, battery. Battery. Camera drone. Scanner HUD root chip. Uh, how did I make a battery again? I think I needed these guys and some copper.
Yes. Take this and replace the sea glide. And leave the empty battery over here. Alright. We got most of what we wanted. I think the only thing left that we have yet to get is a sea moth, and I still don't have the ingredients for that. For the habitat builder shit. I still need at least a multi-purpose room, and I don't have the ingredients for that either. Probably take my helmet, my radiation helmet, and replace it. Hold on. What the fuck? Alright. Bit weird. Oh, stop it. There we go. Now let's go into the radiation parts of the sea. Hopefully. Don't crash, okay. Hopefully the ship won't kill us this time. There's a lot of Seamoth parts at the edge of the map. This map has an edge. Oh right, it's not randomly generated, I forgot. Arcade Punk! Here's a little fun fact. One of the concepts for Subnautica that got scrapped was a biome that consisted entirely of one giant single-celled organism. Ooh! I like that! A giant living... Giant living biome. Yeah. Let's see if we can get some scan parts over here. How do you know when you've hit the edge of the map? That's what I'm curious. Grab trap fragment. Vending machine. Trash can. Oh, you will know. All right. Ominous. New blueprint acquired. Fucking ominous. New blueprint acquired. Got a lot of stuff from here. Let's go on. Man, this game is goddamn pretty. Scanner room, fragment, silver. Stop it. Sound like a tiger. Hi, Crane. Yeah. I am getting pretty comfortable on the water. That's great. The fuck? Oh, the fish boy's still here. Hello? Are you still here, fish boy? Do you like radiation? All right, well, I'm gonna get away from that. I love radiation. Finally, a place I can actually stand.
And I'm getting a lot of blueprints on this hall. Yeah, we've actually sprint. Well, please. Stop it. Ocean man. At least it's nice to be able to, like, be near the ship without feeling like you're, I'm gonna die. Maybe I could make a base of operations here. That would be nice. Those dudes are having fun. Can I climb the ship? Hmm. Oh, it's still on fire, kind of. You want a base there? Yeah, it seems cool. Yeah. Oh god, a lot of space in my inventory. Gonna run around, see what's up. Ah! Stop it! Stop it! You're so cute. No! Ah! Why? Idiot! I don't think he even wants to kill me. He's just, he just wanted to bite me. Fucking asshole. Truck attack. Just a little nibble, and then he went back to where he belonged. He got the sumis. Can't stop moving. Lifeform readings in this region are sparse. The okay. Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Alright, well, let's see if we can contain it. How's the radiation not kicking in? Oh, because... Oh boy. Because I have a radiation suit, so... There's no problem with me! There's just a problem with the local ecosystem. Holy shit, look at this! Absolutely destroyed! Scan the entire ship. Hello there, crabs. Cave crawler. Crabs. Ah, fuck. Revenge. What oh, fuckers? Not be landing towards me, so they will live as long as they don't hurt me. <laughs> Fuck you. You will get to die now. You perish. Don't 
Don't test me. Fucking head crabs. Ow! Am I self scanning good? Self -scan I'm infected! Foreign bacteria counters reached statistically significant levels. What does that mean? No adverse effects detected. Okay. Be vigilant for symptoms. I've got AIDS now. I don't know how I got it. Desk. New blueprint acquired. That's space COVID. I got crabs, god damn it. Oh well, I at least scanned the desk, so that's significant. Ah, fuck, motherfucker! Perish. I like how he holds the little thingy while while I'm running. I understand that. Equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Whatever, bitch. I just want to explore the crashed ship. These assholes are preventing me from doing that. Ooh, supplies. Like the water. Need that. Almost like it's gonna crumble down again, even though it's already completely crumbled down. This guy's just hanging out. Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain. Yeah, they eat humans. They're very aggressive. Man, this planet is not hospitable at all. Fucking crabs. Fuck out. I'm so happy that I can actually get through this. Neat. Oh boy. I'll probably have to return to this. Fire extinguisher! No? Yay! Ah, uh, fuck! Come on, bro! Fuck out of here. Recommended. I know, I'm exploring already for food. I can't really eat at the moment. I don't have any fishies. An entire goddamn ship. On local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Ooh, propul propulsion cannon fragments. And abandoned PDA. Integrating new PDA data. What does PDA even stand for? There's a door there. <gasps> that. Give me that. Give me that! Need to jump parkour. Parkour! Personal digital assistant? I never knew that. Ah, shit. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. Maybe I can see the PDA and read something? A 
exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Oh, 1454 is the code. Repulsion can retrieved. Hey, Berkeley. Thank you. Circuit box with that repulsion can thank you, thank you, Mario Levy. Damn it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Senses recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Integrate new EGA. Thank you. Now go away. Yeah. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. Integrate new PDA data. It's a very dry area of the, of the game, if you know what I mean. Let's read this PDA. Wait, was that not a PDA? There we go. I'll read that later. I'm currently, like, searching for food right here. Has anyone ever recorded audio logs like this in real life, or is that purely a video game thing? It is purely a video game thing. Any actual, actual real life audio logs are like, actually, you know, recorded properly? No one records people's conversations in audio logs for no reason. There we go. Ow, ow, stop Emergency. it. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake. Oh, neat, thank you. Immediate, immediate nutrient block. Ha <laughs> ha! Sick! Perfect timing, actually. And some water. Thank you for keeping me going, game! Ooh, I need the repair tool for this. I left? No, I didn't I didn't leave it. Yeah. Yeah. This is really fucking cool. Sea moth fragment. Yeah. That's all I- that's really what I wanted. Oh. Seamo- Seamoth Depth Module. Hell yeah! I got all of them, though! Yeah! I didn't know that I was gonna be able to get that so quickly. That's actually perfect. Where the Seamoth at? I need a titanium ingot? Power cell, glass, lubricant, and lead. Boy. That's gonna be the next thing that we're gonna be making. Integrating yeah! Data. Just VR stuff. Absolutely fucking sick, my dude. I can't believe that we managed to get that so fast. Thank you to the guy that uh, had provided the code for that door. Oh, hello. The meter. Shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Oh, oh, shit. 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 I'll kill you. I'll fucking kill you, my dude. Oh, boy. 
Don't test me. Got fire extinguisher for that. Gone down the road feeling bad. I still have that song stuck in my head, by the way. Stop it. This is fucking huge, dude! Another fire extinguisher. Alright, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Maximum tolerable level. Got it. Ow. Come on, dude. Like, what is in here that I need to interact with? Maybe there's a thing over here. Nope. Maybe underwater. Use the repair tool on the pillars. Doesn't work. Seamoth is so high. It's your boyfriend in this game. All right. I don't know what kind of relationship you have with your fucking submarine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time every time I, I I hear the fucking acronym BF, I think, "Oh, there we go. I can repair those." Yeah. About the infection, didn't you scan on an infected creature at one point? I saw something in your log, in your PDA log. I did. <laughs> We're not that kind of sub. <laughs> Let's see. We're gonna use all. Oh my god, the fucking bleeder. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, fuck. Shit. Get the fuck out. Asshole. Ew. 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 There we go. As I was saying, I think we're gonna exhaust the repair tool after this. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. I don't know if this is going to do anything. Containment breach repaired. What else do we do around here? I see you're finally on the Aurora. Yeah. Containment breach repaired. I'm trying to help the local ecosystem not fucking die. Containment breach repaired. Detected. Only five more. Yeah, we're gonna lose our repair tool after this. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Only four more. Any anyone else on the water that I need to help? This one. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. 
It should be paying me for fucking containment breach repaired. Repairing this shit for them. When did this ship crash in the first place? I'll have to read up, read up on that later. Alright, one more left! Hopefully we don't die. Well, they're dead. Yeah, I know, but I mean back home, you know? Why do they get to die? Say. I saved the world, motherfucker. I think that's all we needed to do in this area. You missed something. Oh boy. Oh, Cyclops Itch Agency Efficient Module. Yay. The other console was empty though. Do you still need your radiation suit? That's a very good question. Let me go try. Yes, I very much still need it. I very much still need it, yes. I was pretty much dying of cancer as we spoke. Sealed door cut open to access. Fuck! I need a cutter tool for that. Seamoth Bay. I think we've already got pretty much everything we wanted out of this place. We fixed the radiation leak. We got the Seamoth plants. Please tell me I can go back. I can. Yeah, no, I think we're pretty good. Let's go back to the ship and check it out. If a creature tried to leech off a Fi, would it mutate and gain powers or something, or would it just straight up just disintegrate into Forbidden Soup? It would just disintegrate. Okay, Arcade Punk, think about it like this. Would you gain powers out of drinking battery acid? If you do, then more power to you, but... I think most people would just die. Like 99% of the population. Off of Fi, would it mutate and gain powers or something, or would it just straight up disintegrate? Absolutely disintegrated. Or we didn't even cover this area either. Administration. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Get some help. There we go. Hello! Altera launches the Aurora! There's a bunch of text. We will read it later. Back at home. Are we still infected with AIDS? Yes, we are. Ooh, Braun poster. Integrating new PDA data. Note to self. So here we are, finally, in open space. We crossed the galaxy to install a face gate, to send ships to mine resources to build more expensive ships to install fancier face gates. Are we real are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? There we go, there's the code. There's the code. Alright, I think it's time to go back home! Thank you, Aurora! Is that an earthquake? Nope. We are in a sinking, destroyed ship. That is not an earthquake. 
that it's just the general atmosphere of the place. Phil, is Fi destined to be forever alone since nothing can really touch her? Uh, yeah, but I'm pretty sure that <laughs> pretty sure that that's not a problem. Going down the road, feeling bad. I guess, I guess other like, oh! I guess other blobs can touch her. Going down the road, feeling bad. Bill, did you get the blueprints for the cannon? Yes, I did. A lot of lore questions today. I'll probably have to elaborate on the lore at some point. Ooh, look! A crashed thing! I don't know about this. Data box. Yeah! I'm getting so much shit! Data. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator Reaper. Oh. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. Probably died. Alright, well. That guy's dead. We should probably get back to our ship. But this is life pod 4. That means that life the next life pod should be 400 meters over here. On the west? One of my favorite running jokes in all of video games is how everyone is horrific at password security. <laughs> Absolute trash the lot of them. Yeah, only four digit combinations. That shit can be solved in like a few minutes. Sunk approximately 100 meters. 400 meters west, northwest of Life Pod 4's last known location. So. West, northwest. West. Northwest. Like there, 400 meters over there. Alright. Alright. But, Phil, ever since you made your tweet about drawing Phi, I have seen an influx of mommy Phi art. And I can't tell if I should be scared or interested. Help. That sounds sick as fuck, my dude. Yup! Let's go back to the ship. And we're really far out. Big. Ooh, hello there, buddies. I really hope that. Ooh, what is in your back? Hold on a second. I really hope that you guys don't turn hostile. You seem way too big and way too scary to be hostile. They just let those are just little dudes, little nice guys. Bring up this, and bring up this, I need some fishes to eat, give me that. That, oh, I have my inventory full. What the fuck is that? Oh, I thought it was a dead body, okay, good. Gentle little boys. Fun fact, the reef backs are actually leviathans, yay.
God, look at this atmosphere. Look at that! I'm still, I'm still blown away by that like floating planet in the distance. What's that? Oh, that's just a coral. Okay. Oop. How many Leviathan class creatures are in this game? I think there are six. Well, a apparently, according to the game, we have the Reapers, we have the little elephant guys, and I haven't met the other four. All right. What do we got? Propulsion cannon. Warps gravity to pull and push objects. Let me get some grub. What does Neon- what did Neon say? Next five plushie will have huge badonkers. Fucking sick. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Let's see. Ooh. I can make chemicals. Hydroacyl acid. And polyadiline. Plasteel ingot. Loading air pump. Ooh, I got a radio message. What up, boy? Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. Holy yeah, shit! Any site for you that's well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. What? It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. What? We'll be able to establish direct contact with you. Oh shit! Time. Then we're coming in to get you. Oh Cross fuck! Your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Oh fuck! Sunbeam out. Oh fuck! Okay. Oh shit! Okay, we need to go. Uh. Oh fuck, I didn't know that they were actually gonna arrive. Uh, I thought I was just gonna le le be left on this planet forever, okay. But let's fucking go. Let's uh, put our stuff in here. Boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, bop, drop, drop. Put the thing there, put the thing there. There, there, there. Uh, do we have enough battery? I think we need to get... I think we do have enough batteries. Yeah, okay, so... Sick, actually. Honestly, don't did not expect that. Sunbeam landing... What the fuck? A fucking kilometers away? Alright. Guess let's save. And let's go get him. A kilometer away. Got it. Make the sea moth. Oh, fuck! The sea moth! Shit! Wait, how. Okay, do I even have enough to make a sea moth right now? I have around 40 minutes to make a sea moth. Shit. I got time. Okay. All right, sea moth, sea moth, sea moth, sea moth. I need lubricant, lead, glass, titanium ingot, and power cell. How do I make a titanium ingot, though? Uh, do I even have that? Less steel ingot. No, I don't. Oh, oh shit! I need a lot of that. Okay. Hoppa! We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Just give me all the, all the, all the titanium you got. All of it. Like, all of it. Like, all of it, 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 all of it. I already made the power cell, which is cool.
Run down the road feeling bad. Oh, I need more titanium. I'm, I'm excited to build this thing, actually. It looks very fun. Uh, let me get some lube. Eh. Inventory full. Yeah! You need a mobile vehicle bay first. I think I can build that. I think I can build that. Scanner room, hatch, window, reinforcement, mobile bay area. Where's the mobile bay area? Yeah. Yeah. Not there. Make it inside of inside the life pod. Okay. All right. So, give me here. Give me here. Give me here. Give me not silicon rubber. Give me lubricant. And. Give me ingots. Where are the ingots at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need more. Oh my god. Okay. Good thing that I kept a lot in here. One, two, three. We're against the clock, everybody. Titanium and good. Yeah. And where is the power cell? Okay, we got everything that we need to do. But we need a mobile vehicle bay for that. Oh my god, we are missing one! Shit! Oh uh, no. We're missing one thing for the m mobile vehicle bay. Do any of y'all know where a blueprint for that is? Just find it. Okay. Oh, fuck. Where? Uh. Where could it be? Where could it be? Where could it be? We need to find it. We need to find it really quickly. Yeah. Literally any wreckage. Okay, we, we need to go find any kind of wreckage. Probably around the Aurora. There we go. We're just gonna go towards here and try to find any wreckage that we can find. Find any wreckage that we can find, yes. Not titanium. Okay, we're speed running this ship, boys. That's a horrible noise. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, I think I hit, I think you have enough time. You have like 3 to 5 minutes to get to the island. What? Okay, good. We currently have 30 minutes to build our little thingy. Maybe we can scan some stuff around here. Yes. 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 
Yes. Nothing to scan around here. Hey Phil, can you tell Moth Ghost to go to sleep? It's past midnight for M and they have school lol. And that... they said I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Moth Ghost should probably go to sleep. I mean, they do great art and they're a good member of the channel, but don't fucking stay up just so that you can watch me play a video game. Come on, dude. <laughs> go the fuck to sleep. Why do I have to tell people to go to sleep or to wake up? Oh boy. But Jay Parker is right though. Only I can find a record soon. Go the fuck to bed, Moth Ghost. I seen you on the chat! Yeah! Got it! Now how... what ingredients do we need for this? Oh my fucking god, it's like most of the ingredients for the mobile vehicle bay. Oh fuck, ah fuck, ah shit, ah fuck. Alright. Alright, we're gonna have to speedrun some collection. Speed running. All right. Yo, Fabricator! You're working overtime right now! Yeah, 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 that. Put it down. Put it down. Or put it down uh, here. Release vehicle bay. You'll be in the water to deploy. Huh? Yeah? Alright, now we need the ingredients once again to make a sea moth. Oh, okay. Power cell, titanium ingot, and lubricant. Please tell me that I have enough titanium for that. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I am missing six. Shit. Shit. I am missing three more. Mm, okay. And we need... Uh, lubricant and power cell. To get a power cell, we need... We need a battery and a silicon rubber. We have a rubber, so that's nice. We need lubricant and titanium ingot. Okay, let's go into the reef, like, plant area to, so that we can get that. Should be, like, around over here. We're gonna get some lubricant, and we're gonna get some more titanium. But can I just use that to make lubricant? Dooby doo ba doo, dooby doo ba. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I already got lubricant, but I still need the titanium. Now, see, a lot of people are telling me that I need to go to the reef area, but the problem is, I don't know what a reef is. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain. Oh my god, you too? I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Yep. Stay together and good luck. Thank you. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Shit. Origin coordinates downloaded. Signal I'm working on a time limit. Uploaded to PDA. Titanium, titanium. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 
I could probably go into one of the wreckage areas and get some uh, titanium from there, actually. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, where is the wreckage area? Whoppa, we go over there. Seeing just an endless ocean every time you get you emerge out of the water is just terrifying for me. Oh yeah, I try not to think about it too much. One, two. Okay, I need one more. The best way to get over your fears is just not think about them too much. Just distract yourself with something else, and it'll be fine. That's what I that's what I do most of the day. Moth goes. Thank you for the donation. I will just let the DTS speak for yourself. Yeah. Damn, I didn't really expect that really got ratted out. Fine, I will sleep. Thank you. Yeah. For the chat. I'm tempted to not sleep out of spit, but I will. <laughs> Enjoy the game, Phil. I will listen to the screams. No problem, Moth Ghost. Look, buddy, I know that I do a lot of things out of spite, but if that spite will also make me sick or will make, like, destroy my body or will, like, affect my health, then it's probably best not to do it. So, yeah, look, just, like, relax and have a good sleep, my dude. Alright, how do I make a super battery? Doopy dooby doo ba doo, dooby doo ba power cell. I need silicone rubber. There we go. And put that there. We're speed running the shit. No, no, don't make that. Do we have everything ready? I think I do. Yeah! Let's go make that... Boy! It only took us like 10 minutes to do. Perfect. There's always the VODs. That is true. Like, the VODs are not going to go anywhere. That's one of the reasons for why I stream on YouTube over Twitch. Because I hate when Twitch deletes VODs from its archives. Built in time. Is a yes! Safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Yes! Perfect! Huh? I should probably go to the distress signal. What do you guys think? Do we, ha do we have enough time to go to the second officer Keen's last broadcast location? I think we do. Huh? Yo! Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah! Look at this shit! Let's go to the life pod. Oh, brother. Uh, equip the modules of to the sea pot sea moth before you leave. That is true. I have a bunch of modules that I that I could equip to this thing. That is very true. Arcade Pong. I used to love swimming in the ocean until I gained the fear of jellyfish. Speaking of which, I recently had the idea of making a nematocyst water balloons. I have no idea what that is. Where is the thing? Oh, that's empty. Cyclops engine efficiency module, Seamoth. Depth module mark one. Oh, 
How exactly do I equip that? How exactly do I install this, actually? Ow. Sorry about that. Ow, ah, sorry about that. It's a panel on the side. Ah, uh, I. Uh, uh, oh, 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 okay. Oh, there we go. Not in. Where's the thingy? Storage panel on the wing. Oh, there we go. Access upgrades. Put that shit in there. Also, maybe repair this, because uh, I did some damage to it, so... Take the repair tool. Leave the ship. And repair it a little bit. Yeah! Seamoth is now fully repaired. Let's go check up with the second officer. Is very quiet. Mm. Calm down. I'm checking this out. We only have 20 minutes until the rescue pod arrives. Oh my god. What? Stop it. Fucking legged, you only have 20 minutes. Yeah, but it's not that far away. I want to check out what this is about. Stop it! Stop! Who's doing that stop? Ow. Oh my god, that's very far down, actually. Three hundred meters down. I think our limit is like, yeah, three hundred. Yeah, I would not have been able to be here without the sea moth. What am I hitting? Ooh! Very pretty. I think I may have to go up. Because I am not in the cavern that this wants me to go into. Look out for time capsules! They have good stuff! I'm pretty sure that if I leave this, um, ship, I will be crushed into bits. Stop it! Oh, I'm, I'm just hitting the fishies. I wonder what's the deepest you can go in this game. There we go! That should be our entry point. There you go! Hello, buddy! Are you alive? You probably aren't. What am I even saying? <laughs> 
pair the boy. Nematocysts are the stinging cells in jellyfish's tentacles. Oh. Imagine putting some of those into a water balloon and sneaking them into a balloon fight. That would be horrible. <laughs> Jesus. I've never been stung by a jellyfish, but that sounds very painful. Alright, ooh. Stop in. Attached to okay, planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. Integrate I'm attempting new PDA data. a controlled descent. You're Captain. so dead. He's so dead. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Integrating new PDA data. To all crew, if you're reading this, then you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by this life pod's onboard computer. Contrary to my orders, I have been forced to evacuate. Your orders are Fuck me. Anyways. Your orders are to evacuate, uh, your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. There we go. Thank you, officer. Pretty much exactly what I already knew, but there we go. Oh my God. Just don't hit the fishies. All right, that's done. Uh, anything else we should do before we go into the rendezvous point? 15 minutes till rescue. We should probably search for... This. Life pod six, approximately 100 meters. West northwest of Life Pod 4's last known location. I already know where Life Pod 4 is, so we should probably go search it up. Remember to eat and hydrate. That is very true. Let's get the fuck out of, out of this scary place. A lot of people told me that I would know when I find the edges of the map. I still haven't found the edges. Stop it. You know what? Actually, biodiversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. I'm gonna eat some of you. Hold on. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. You're gonna be my dinner, and you're gonna be on my dessert. And you're gonna be... Hold on. Oh, I got them all. That's what happens when you crash into my fucking ship, dumbass! Come my dinner. Aboard, yeah! They'll stop hitting the fish! They should fucking get away from my location! If they want that. Go to the point now. You can explore while you're there. That is very true. I'm gonna go back to my uh, escape pod. I'm gonna recharge my thingy. I am going to fix it. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna get some water. And then I'm going to go into the rendezvous point. Hey Phil, how do you feel about Wendigos? Wendigos are super fucking cool. I really like the their, their version when they're supposed to be like combinations of like really tall, lanky humanoid cannibals and like deer men. I really don't like how until 
Dawn did it, where it was just like really weird zombie-like humans. But yeah, the folklore of the Wendigo is amazing. It's one of Canada's like only weird like cryptids. All right, uh, time to cook up some fucking guys. Yeah, 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 for the journey. Do I have any water? I do not. I'm gonna go get some water. Hold on. That sounds really stupid to say, but I do need some specific water. There we go. Come on, buddy. Buddy. There we go. 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 Oh. Go. And give me. And gimme, and gimme, uh, 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 gimme, and gimme, no. Yeah. Ho! Oh. I'm really confused as to whether Phil is Canadian or Chilean. Oh, I'm neither, I'm Chinese. That's a true story. I'm telling this on members only so that it doesn't get out very much, but in, in truth, in reality, I am Chinese. You, you guys can keep a secret, right? This is a members only stream? Like, I, I hope I can trust you guys to keep that secret. Um, between us, you know? And whoop, 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 whoop. Perfecto! We got a bunch of water now. I'm gonna take some water with me on the trails just in case. I put the titanium over there. Uh, how did I make a power core actually? Silicon rubber and battery. I should probably get one just in case I need more for the moth ghost or whatever the No not moth ghost for the for the sea moth. <laughs> not moth ghost. Just in case I Oh my god, we only have eight minutes! Uh never mind. We go. We go now. There we go. We fucking go. Need to repair the ship. No, stop it. Done. Rendezvous point, dry land. I'll save just in case. You can explore the island once you get there. All right. The fuck was that noise? Wrong one? Ah, shit! That's the wrong one! <laughs> Never mind! Other way! Complete opposite direction. Don't worry, we- don't worry, we got a lot of time left. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Trust me, trust me, trust me. It's fine, it's fine. It's all good. Uh, hey Phil, thoughts on supernatural beings, like, in the horror genre in general, like werewolves, vampires, etc, etc? Well, I don't really find them scary anymore, because they've been so... ...exposed 
throughout the years that they I kind of find them generic. But one of my favorite types are zombies. I've been obsessed with zombie media since I was a kid. I love Dead Rising and Resident Evil. Uh, werewolves? I find them funny most of the time. Uh, vampires are cool. Uh, but they haven't been used very well since Twilight. Skinwalkers are creepy, yes. Uh, I think most of the creatures that I have been putting some interest in have been like the ones created by the internet. Like, you know Siren Head? You know the, the creatures in like the, the, the fucking Mandela catalog or like the... What was the name of that one? Uh, the Gemini Project? Gemini Home Entertainment? Like, those are really cool. Ooh, an island! I really like it when someone on the internet or like in a project or a new movie makes a new scary monster that is unique, that is not just a werewolf or like a vampire, you know? Those are kind of played out in my opinion. Alright, we got to the sides! Very bad. 500 social credits deducted from your account. Do not do this again or more social credits will be deducted and CCP agents will be deployed. What the fuck? Hold on a second. Also, thank you, fart face. Xi Jinping will surely spank me in the ass. What the fuck is that? Oh, I didn't know there was advanced alien life. Is that a fucking seagull? Oh shit. Can I go in there? I only have five minutes, but let's go in there. Check it out. Maybe save just in case. What the fuck? Purple tablet. This carbon-based device is lighter than it looks and it features a symbol which resembles a U lit up in purple despite onboard power still functioning, algae growth and exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds or perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels, there is no obvious way to interface with it. It should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device, if necessary. Fuck! I need that! What do you need? How do you fabricate it? Oh, ultra high capacity tank, nice. How do you fabricate it? Ion cube and diamonds? Shit. I only have three minutes. I need to discover an entire alien civilization. That's so fucking cool. So fucking cool, though. I did not expect fucking sci fi. Super, super alien bullshit in this game. I thought it was just gonna be like a simulator game. That's cool. That's cool, actually. Did they even know this was here? Bimbo tree. I mean, bulbo tree. Neat. Oh, there's a cave. Actually, yeah, I should probably just wait until the, the guy arrives, and then I'll explore this island a little bit more. There's a tablet on the roof. I will get that later once these guys come get me. Honestly, uh, given the track their track record, they will probably just fucking crash into that tower. I can totally see them just fucking up really hard and just...
need to get up there. Get. Sounds like fucking Quake Man. Oh my god. Fucking hell. There we go, that works. Hello? I'm waiting for rescue. Please come get me. Look at my light. I can come rescue, please me. Please. Please come rescue me. Please come. Peace. Right, the space pigeon. Really peaceful in this island. Oh, look at the space pigeon. It's really freaky. Ease. Ah, the big ass red moon is pretty cool, though. Oh. Yellow. Oh. <gasps> Don't you fucking dare. Oh. Survivor, we see you. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, fuck. Hold on. No turning back now. Uh. Ships, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. Yep. I should have known. Coming from the building? Yep. Change course. Set thrusters to full. Holy shit. I guess I get more scrap for later. A lot of titanium. Those things that I can actually go towards? Oh! Assholes! <laughs> There goes my only way of escape. Amazing. That's what sh shot down the Aurora. Okay. I guess that fucking ship got way too close. To this planet. And that happened. Fuuuuck. At least you get to explore the island now. That is true. I mean, I knew... I knew that... I knew that they were going to die or were going to be stopped at some somehow. But I didn't think that I was going to get shot out of the sky by that thing. Like, the game... Like, the game wasn't going to be that short, you know? But... This changes things. Yeah. Did I just expect the yeah. space gun? Yeah, pretty much. Space shuttle challenge have been real quiet since this. I need to get inside there. I need to get inside there. Need to get inside that big space gun. Maybe I could have deactivated it if I was fast huh? enough. Probably not, right? There we go, there's a tablet. Looks like a fucking Doom Eternal sigil. Let's get in there. 
scan everything. Okay, okay, okay. Forget to scan sometimes. Can't really scan anything here, though. Ooh. Let's shut it from here. Actually, before I get into the big space cannon, I'm gonna go explore the actual island, if that's okay. I shoot you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Perish. What you get, you fucking seagull? Maybe I could have scanned that. What kind of civilization is this? Pink cap. Stop it. Speckled Rattler. Stop it. Don't trust the pink cap. Lithium. That's a big ass place to explore. Crabs are very annoying though. No, oh, the birds are glitched. Avoid standing on them and they or they will carry you across the map. That sounds cool. I wanna do that. Why are you why are you telling me that as if I want to avoid that? Gold. Man, I could have written that then. Chat. Diamond! Are the property of the All Terra Corporation. What the fuck up, PDA? To reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at 3 million credits. Oh, wow. Hello. Please wait. No. Hold on. Let me load. Hold on a second. I think I found a good spot to do some stupid bullshit. Hold on. I, I think I found I think I found it. I think I found it. I think I found a good spot. Nothing like crippling dead, am I right? Oh my god, it's so f- mm. Well, what are you doing? Doing some funny shit. Huh? Huh? Ah! If, if only there was a faster way to load this. Breaking the game, as always. Huh? Shit! Oh. Fuck! Fuck! Motherfucker! It's right there! Come on, Phil! If I just stand still on them, I think I'll be able to be good. Fuck! <laughs> Just... <sighs> Random patterns. <gasps> ah, come on! Ah, this is uh, right there! Come on, it's so fucking close! You're gonna take so long! But I'll do it. Bird up. Bird up. Huh? 
Finally. Oh my god, no, fuck, fuck, please, please, bird! Yeah. How dare you. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it eventually, I swear to god. <laughs> I'm, it, I'm gonna fucking do it eventually. I'll fucking do it again. Oh, come on, it was just right there! Bird! <laughs> I need to do it. Welcome to the rest of the stream. <laughs> He's committed. There's easier birds to ride on. Yeah, but this one's mine. Oh! 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 They don't even carry you that far away, is the thing. I think, okay, this is gonna be my last, like, these are gonna be my last tries. After this, I'm just gonna to continue exploring the island. Huh? <gasps> Fuck! And one last one. One last one. Almost had it. Ah! Fuck you, bird. I will just continue without you. <gasps> you return! I see how it is. Bird. Make me look bad. <laughs> Ow. Fucking bunny jumping. I'm gonna get that fucking bird. Press F8 to report bugs and give feedback. Why are they telling me now? <gasps> Fucking bird! <gasps> I'll get you one day. I like how the shadow gets cast on the rock. Pretty cool. Alright, well, I think I'm done with this area. I already have the stone, so I don't really know why I'm exploring this so much. Over here. Ooh, what is this? Cyclops engine fragment. What is a Cyclops? I don't know what a Cyclops is. Uh, Arcade Punk says, On the topic of horror, have you checked out Vita Carnis by Darian Killoy? It's more recent and slightly similar to Gemini, but I love it to bits. I am not very aware of the, like, analog horror, new hor analog horror stuff. On the topic stuffs. of horror, have you checked out Vita Carnis by Darian Quilloy? It's more recent and slightly similar to Gemini, but I love it to bits. I will probably check out those kinds of series when I do another Let's Watch 
for analog horror stuff. I still want to check out Gemini Home Entertainment, and I will probably put that on the list as well. Thank you. Petition to name the Cyclops the Blob Marine. That's cute. All right, well, time to open the temple. Birds. I think we're going to open up this temple, check out what's inside of it. Then we're going to go to the rendezvous point of Aurora. We're going to check that place out, and then we're going to end the stream. I think that those are going to be like our last... Uh, objectives for the day. How does that sound, chat? Because I think that I've already explored a lot that this game has to offer, but I'm obviously not going to be able to beat it the entire... Like, the en like the entire game on stream. So, I think, like, doing these two things should be the last things to do on the stream, and then we can continue it some other time. That sounds pretty good! Yeah! Excellent. This game is really long. Yeah. But it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it so far. Thank you for the force field. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. Looks like no emerald. matches found in database performing structural analysis. Fucking cool. Well, are there enemies inside here? I should probably save. Yo, what is this? Is this actually Subnautica? I still need to play it. Yep. This is Subnautica. Kind of looks like a Minecraft water temple. But like cooler and more metal. Data terminal. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Gonna be kind of hard. Alien data terminal. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid-state computer. Although there is no clear way to interface with it, on approach it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely that the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the engineers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Assessment. Further research required. Interesting. So they were fucking nerds, is what you're telling me. Nerds! Huh? Like a Halo map. That is also true. Huh? Fucking alien nerds. Ooh. Look at this fucking Tesseract. Ion Cube. This green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Likely grown artificially, this cubic appearance suggests it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains uh, the equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. Under the right conditions, the energy could be released in a controlled manner. Likely used as batteries, but would require a substantial power source to be recharged. Valuable energy resource. Give me that shit, please and thank you. What else is in here? Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. If it is not functional, then they really had a hard on for fucking sci fi metallic surfaces. These bitches probably really enjoy Tron. Makes sense with the current nerd hypothesis. Well, that is a new new cube. Neat. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Bitches be loving Tron and the Matrix. Enforcement platform schematic. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. 
Construction material. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive material amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Shut the fuck up. Power. The schematic indicates the, pa the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located somewhere else on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence that designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout. Wait, does that mean that there's a fucking power plant underwater? Layout. The facility consists of upper engineering section where this schematic was found, and the control room which is accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft, or a separate underwater moon pool. Moon pool? Control. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure installed in security measures. Freaking nerds. Nom, 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 nom. Got it. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Hmm. Ooh. Cool. I don't when I when I started this game I did not expect this to happen. Oh they have a pool. Nice. So they're rich motherfucking nerds. They have an indoor pool. Fuck these guys. This is so fucking big. Huh? I'm gonna need all those cubes, please and thank you. Huh? There's probably like a fucking beach resort for them. They use that giant cannon to like shoot out like weird birds in the sky. Alien Ark. Structure intended purposes unclear. Theories on function, ceremonial, or religious role. Industrial applications. Advanced transportation network. Assessment. Further research is required. This seems like a Stargate, motherfuckers. Are you dense? Reminds me of Sky Skyrim Dwarven temples, but smooth. And reflective. Yeah, Yuki. I mean, yeah, yeah, pizza party. Uh, Yuki says, Phil, could Fi withstand eating the ion cube? Oh my god, is that a rifle? Hold on. <gasps> I mean, yeah, probably not, considering that's a fucking bomb. Thank you, Aki. Anyways, alien rifle. Strong resemblance to human weaponry in form. This device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built the structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. There's no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Huh. But get an alien gun at some point. Well, I did my ring around around here. Man, this is so fucking sick. Throw a rock at it. Maybe it'll work. Ooh, another tablet. Give me that, please, and thank you. Man, this this wah! <laughs> hello, hello, Nikki. How you doing? I am so sad. I've only been able to catch bits of this, but uh, how did you like Sunbeam? I did not expect this entire fucking tower to turn into a cannon to kill those guys. It's fucking awesome. I did not expect this entire thing to exist. I thought this was just a water simulator. 
Doomsday device? What the fuck? Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Fuck, okay. Is this a museum? How do you know that it can do that? Can I get up here? No, I cannot. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Got a bitch. Put it right, th right in there. That's a really, really inconvenient key card. So fucking cool though. Ooh! Big green thing. I like green. Can I touch it? What the fuck? Okay. I have to stick my finger in there. Stick it. Hello! I don't even know what the, the fuck. Control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads: Warning: Infected individuals may not disable. Oh. This planet is under quarantine. Self scan complete. Yeah. Bacteria infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Oh. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Oh, I have COVID, man. Downloading summary to data bank. Alien facility locations. Intercept the background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. The seized research facility depth 800, mi 800 meters below. Location cave system with extensive fossil record. Function life specimen study. Objective synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium. Designated Kara. I am... I have fucking space COVID? Thermal power facility. Fucking kilometer 200 meters below. Location in, inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic... I know. Function, generate energy to, for all local facilities. Sanctuary A, data corrupted. Sanctuary B, data corrupted. Offsite laboratory, data corrupted. Primary containment facility, data corrupted. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will automatically enforce and with immediate effect. Quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent spread infection off world. That makes sense. Shit, I'm stuck in here forever. This divine house is equivalent of a hundred met. 100 empty nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead, or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. I am fucking fucked. I don't have water either. I am going to fucking die. We need to go. We need to go. We need to get the fuck out of here. We need to go. I am going to die of dehydration if I don't get out of here. Fuck. Uh... Take off your gloves. No. We need to go. Why- why take my gloves off? Why? All right, we to go. Um, Nikki says, I'm near positive you'll love the story, but how's the survival mechanics? Eh, I've never been much of a fan of survival mechanics, personally. I always find them more of an, an annoyance to the game than anything. The story seems really cool, though. You're right about that. I've just been mostly having fun exploring the world, and, like, crafting all the cool items. But aside from that... I am pretty... I am pretty fine on the survival mechanics. We need to get to... the base. 
Ah, uh, shit. That's really far away. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I don't... I, what the fuck? Okay. You know what? No. No, we need, we need, we need to go. 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 We're gonna die. 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 Is there scary fish in this game? I found a scary fish within the first few minutes. So yes, this week. Pretty much within minutes of the game starting, I found a scary fish. I did not pack enough water for this. Cut the trees for hydration. Uh, maybe? Alright. I know, I'm doing that. The seeds have hydration. Okay, good, 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 good. Fucking speed running out of here. Oh my god, that's so far away. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck them trees. What did I get? Uh, yes. Nom 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 nom. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, the trees just disappeared. Okay. Sick. And I'll keep some of that for just in case. All right. So, I currently have space aids, I have explored the giant cannon thing, and I am tired. Need to go back home. Hello, fish. I don't think I've explored all of it, but I've explored most of it. Deforestation is based, yes. We need to go back home, and we need to go to the rendezvous points, and hopefully be able to see what's up with the rest of the crew that crash landed here. Welcome aboard, Captain. No problemo. Man, this game is fucking cool. Fun fact, Warpers and Reaper Leviathans appeared in my nightmares when I started playing this game. The game terrified me greatly, but I've gotten over it now. Mostly. Yeah, you know what? Oh, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna speak to the choir or like, like, this is gonna be like, this is gonna go over people's heads, but... Have any of you played Minecraft when it, like, was in beta? Like, like, you know, when it was in development, before the official release. Before the hunger meter got introduced. When you first played Minecraft and you really, really didn't know what was going on with the biomes and the monsters and all that, wasn't it so fucking scarier than what it is right now? Tegera says, yep, and I did have one scary moment. Yeah, this game, or like, the beginning of this game, and me exploring all these locations, give me the same vibe that Beta Minecraft did when I originally played it and tried to survive it and tried to, like, find out all the intricacies of its gameplay. It was like a big liminal space. Yeah, it, it felt... It felt... Somehow, it felt less alive but way more mysterious than the like the current releases of Minecraft because currently Minecraft is being either it's like either super fantasized super gamified or introducing a bunch of decorative blocks and stuff that you can build bases with and stuff like it didn't it didn't it, it right now modern Minecraft kind of lacks that mysterious element to it 
where you just explored this weird world with these aggressive creatures that, like, came after you during the night. That was very cool when I originally played the game. Uh, the deep dark in Minecraft still freaks me out. Yeah. What the? Okay, I thought that was an, en an enemy. People thought there was a ghost in Alpha Minecraft. Yep, pretty much piss weak. I dislike the idea of Herobrine because the design is cringe, but, and the story behind Herobrine is cringe, but the idea of another player or another thing being inside of your single-player world that stalked you and built stuff uh, is very cool. I should probably be looking at the... Oh, what's going on over here? Save. There is no exist. There, there is no dead brother of Notch. Yeah, no. Hello. Look at this island. That's a weird one. What the fuck is this? this is a floating island? What is this? This is such a different, distinct location compared to the other big island. Yuki says, Phil, you can find a lot of good things in here. Make sure to search it all. Boy. How do I get over it? But it's a look like it's barely lit, too. Hold on a second. Hold on, Seamoth. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, see you, Moth. Yeah! <laughs> Under the island, you muppet! Yeah, but this is more fun! Huh? Yeah, fine. Whoa, whoa, okay. Ooh. There you go. About the analog horror streams, yes? will you just be watching videos or will it also be mixed with analog horror games like last time? The latter category. I love analog horror f game styles. Energy signatures on the island's huh? surface. Need humans, huh? maybe? Huh? Huh? Humans? Huh? Did you just beach the sea moth? No, it's just hanging out. There you go. Rendezvous Agent voice log. Rated. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer Keen, two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen, out. Thank you, Keen. 
There's a lot of things to explore in this island, but uh, but I can't really pick up much because my inventory is kind of full. Oh no, I can eat some of these things. Never mind. Gives me a whole different vibe from the rest of the game. Ming plant. Looks like a vase. Hmm. Jaffa cup. This looks so neat. Huh? Like an entire jungle. Oh, what the fuck is that at the top? Hold on. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ah. Give me that. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Wait, how long have these guys been out there doing this? Didn't I crash at the exact same time as everyone else? Why is everyone, like, settled in already? Like, everyone's either dead or has, has settled in into this island. Why did I... Was I just... <laughs> Have I been just, like, sitting around, not doing much, while these guys have been surviving? This wasn't made from your crew. What? Oh, this is another one that got stranded? Let's see. Let me see. Can you eat the mushroom, Phil? I don't- I don't trust that. Investigate and you'll see. This is such a pretty, pretty island. Oh god, nightfall coming. This path is kind of leading me to nowhere. A big ass circle around the island itself. Ooh, PDA. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now, what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose oh. the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. Enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. I like this guy. Take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials? Like damn queens. Couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. Stasis rifle? Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Chinese potato. Integrating new PDA. The stasis rifle is crucial. Maybe I can kill some leviathans with it. Marble melon. <gasps> they found the fucking tablets too? Bitches. Thing. I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. Nope. People. Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. I love that southern drawl. 
Ultra Glide Fins! Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set back to finding us habitat. a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding <gasps> to risk our lives. Multi-purpose room. Imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment, yes! she go from bad to worse. If she had my yes! experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing yes! in shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as yes! possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Yes. Yes. Everything. I got fucking everything to make a base. Yes. Yes. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. Oh. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. No, obviously not because you're say, dead. If that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like. Jesus. Go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried. I love this voice acting. Right, let's check out the top bit. Hopefully I can climb up. Huh? Oh boy! Man, I kinda wanna continue. I said that I would finish the stream after I explore the two islands. But I kinda just wanna continue. Oh, there's another one over there too. You meet her in Below Zero. That's the DLC, right? Scan this. It's infected water. Oh, but my inventory is just full. There we go. Why is... Oh, that's rotten! I consume rotten food! I'm a fucking dumbass! Damn it. Lan lantern. Oh. Pick up some for the road. So things can spoil if you don't eat them fast enough. Fair enough, I guess. Disgusting. Yeah. New blueprint acquired. Nom, nom, nom.
Another PDA. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here. You could always Funny just have another Pablo Esco bear appearance. Right. Fair enough, hard face. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts. Look at how tall this is fucking island is. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. What does that mean? It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Jesus Christ, well, man. Well, there's always the view. It is a pretty cool view, yes. They died. Nobody came to rescue them. Man, that's sad. He's bouncing. He ate the devil fruit. Are those the devil fruits on the observatory? I think we, with all this, with all these blueprints that we just got in this island, we can totally build a cool ass base back home, and then we can use that to end the stream. Just make a cool ass base and then end the stream, completely safe in a cool home that we can like continue the stream from in another time. Well, take one of the Chinese potatoes. You can replant them. Huh? Hopefully they don't spoil, though. I think I would rather leave them here and then come back from for them later. Because, like, I don't think I'm going to be building a farm soon. Oh, I could also go to the proposed Agassi habitat. But I think that will do... I will do that on another stream. Because I've already explored far enough. Even rotten food can be planted. Oh, fair enough, I guess. Let me just get up top of this, and then I'll. Then. Bird. Chinese potato. Give me that. Smart marble melon. I'll eat this. And it's weird that there's no corpses. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more growth. Speak up, kid. It's true, Bob. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. Yep. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Oh, this guy looks sounds very threatening in every single fucking voice log these guys have. I'm surprised they didn't slit each other's throats. You scanned the grow beds, right? Yeah! I scanned pretty much everything inside this island. Which means that I can use it later for my own base. That'd be so fun. I don't know if you guys know, but one of the things that I most liked in Minecraft was building bases. But we're gonna have to spend a while there on the next stream. And all of that is done. I have all... I have my inventory stocked up! Time to go back home. Boy. This has been... This has been a goddamn adventure. This game has lots of, like, different threads that you can follow, and all of them are super interesting. Minecraft stream at 500k subs? You don't understand, Fartface. If I play Minecraft again, I'm gonna be addicted to it. 24-7. If I... 
ever replay Minecraft properly, I will not be able to stop. So, I think it would be best if I did that after I finish at least, you know, my game. I would rather release that than get addicted to something that I can't stop playing during the week. So, I will probably do that later. Okay? Wrap up the st wrap up my responsibilities and then get into my get back into Minecraft. Hey Phil, uh, have you played Hollow Knight? And if so, what do you think of it? I played 90% of Hollow Knight and then I just didn't get into the final dungeon. I should probably replay it because I barely remember anything of it. It'd be cool. Drunk Minecraft. Oh, that would be so fun. He's sober from Minecraft. Let's get let's get back into the into the into the moth. We'll go back home. We'll establish some rooms, not everything. I don't want to build the entire the entire base right away, but I want to establish some rooms. And then we will end the stream. This has been so fun. I thought this, this game was going to be janky as hell, but like everything- What the fuck? Really? Here? You people were here too? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You motherfuckers. They were here as well. And they have a Stargate. Fucking aliens. What do we call these people? Do they have an official designation or name or species name for the aliens? Not sure. Maybe I can place a tablet in one of these places. Can't use it until late game. Oh, well. Fair enough. They're the architects. They're called the precursors. They're, we call them Florida men. Fair enough. It's so hard to appreciate the size of everything through a monitor, which makes me so sad that the VR version of this game sucks as, since Leviathans look so much better with it. Oh, What the hell happened there? Oh, that's some weird lighting glitch, okay? <laughs> that's kind of weird. Yeah, this game would be pretty fucking cool in VR. The Mandalorians. I want to live in a mountain, to be honest. Living in a mountain would be cool. Problem is, you don't have internet. I wouldn't mind living in the woods, but I would really appreciate if I could charge my phone and use my phone. Shit, I forgot. I need to go to the moth. Moth, 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 moth. All right, Mothy. Let's get you into the sea. Welcome aboard, Captain. Whoa! Uh, back in business, boys. Let's go back and build ourselves a cute little base. Fluffy moths look pretty. Yeah. What are your opinions on moths? I find them cute, Neon. They're a bit annoying, but, you know, they're kind of... You're kind of not supposed to have them in the home, and if you let them, let them in and they become a nuisance, that's kind of your fault. But on the wild, moths are pretty. I like them. It's the Mothman! Thank you, this week. Have you gone to the edge yet? Nope. I don't know. I don't know the edge of the map. How far away is the edge of the map? I've only, like, as far as I've been has been the Aurora, the Floating Island, and the Island with the Cannon. I don't know how far away this map goes. It's not too far. I guess I could just save the game and go to the edge of the map. It's behind the ship. Alright, I will do that then. But, let me build a base first. 
Roughly 1.5 kilometers, I think. That's not even that far away. Huh. The Subnautica map is 1.1 kilometers by 1.3 kilometers by 3.1 kilometers. I assume that last one is the depth of the map. All right. Fuck. There we go. Let's put our shit in the escape pod, and then build a cute little base, and then head far out. Why the fuck is everything broken?! Oh. Oh. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Oh. Well, that's fucking ominous. Well, hopefully nothing comes of that. But send a death threat in space. Is it because I took the ion cubes? It's probably because I took the ion cubes. Purple tablet. Well, fuck me, I guess. Let's put our stuff in the little containers. Hmm. All right. Now, let's see if we can build our stuff. We want to build a multi-purpose room, and we, for that we need six titanium. Did we literally use every single piece of titanium we had to build the moth? Yes, we did. Fuck. Would be cool if like we had it like around here. Yeah, let's maybe go find some titanium. I'm gonna take a long time. You know what? Yeah, we'll build we'll build a base later. We'll build we'll build a base. Yeah, that's way too much like item collecting. And we don't have any titanium left. I think it's better if we just ride off into the sunset. What do you think, guys? I'm gonna save, and I'm just gonna ride off in towards there. I think it's time. We have searched too much shit. We're gonna just ride off and see what happens. Let's see. I really, I legitimately don't know what is going to happen once we get to the edge of the map. Save first! I have saved, indeed. I have saved already. Keep yourself safe, Phil! Yeah! Can't he just go off in any direction? Yeah, but some guy told me that it's behind the ship, so I will go behind the ship. What a vast ocean. 
going down the road. Have you ever considered playing Jurassic World Evolution? I'd prefer Evolution 2. It's a really cool game. Hmm, maybe. That sounds like the kind of game that Ellie would be up for co-hosting. Yeah, this seems like a good idea. Why is there a... Why is there an ominous... Ominous music playing? Ominous music playing. Oh shit, boy. Don't worry, I have like 83 repair on my muff. I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good. Bye bye, Aurora. It's been fun. Wouldn't it be really funny if I didn't save? It did save, so I don't really care about that. And that is scary. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is the feeling that I was talking about, like, a few minutes ago. 30 minutes ago? This feels like anything could jump out at any moment. Why is everything blue? Or? Warning. Entering ecological death zone. Adding report to databank. Greater edge. It's fucking terrifying. All right. Forty meters down. What the fuck is that noise? Oh, what the fuck is that noise? Woo! We're falling. We're falling down. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I do not like that one bit. Okay. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Hello. Time to fucking go. They hide to the ghost now, leviathans, Phil. On the sea floor suggests this may be the migration path of a huge bottom dwelling life form. Ooh. The the edge of the map is not really the edge of the map. It's more like it's more like the dead zone, I guess. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, 
Oh, I'm past it now. I'm just keeping, keep going east. Keep going east. Just keep going east. How far am I? Oh my god, look at how far away I am. Let's keep going down. Bill, do not die. I'm gonna probably die. I don't have more batteries. I have a knife. It will protect me against threats. Go as far down as fucking humanly possible. Five hundred meters. Underwater gaster. All right, well, that's as far as I go. Oxygen. Swim to the surface. I'm like half a kilometer away. Duh. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Alright. That was it, everybody. That was so cool, though. That was pretty fucking cool. I don't know what those big-ass neon fishies were, but they were pretty cool. I wonder if I can kill them. That was the ghost leviathan. Imagine dying, Lamau. Alright. And with that, we end the members-only... Subnautica stream. I'm probably gonna continue this game in a month around that time. This seems like the type of game that is very chill, that is very explorable, that we can take dozens of hours to complete. So this is probably gonna be like a main feature for a while on the members onlys. I really much enjoyed it. I still don't know what the fuck to think about for the aliens, uh, but I really like how the story is like expanding outwards as we go along. Seemingly, from what I understand, this entire planet is like a giant trap because it's filled with these bacteria that infect everything that comes near it, so we can't really leave until we cure ourselves. I was late to the stream, but I enjoyed what I got to see. Yeah! Thank you, Pissweek. I hope that everyone enjoyed it. Um, at the end of this weekend, we're gonna start Resident Evil Month, so we're gonna have to start with Resident Evil 1. And I will still do other games aside from Resident Evil on this month, because I have some stuff that I still want to get to. But it's mostly going to be Resident Evil, Subnautica, and finishing off Outer Wilds. I still need to finish off Outer Wilds. Ah, oh, this was nice. Thank you everybody that suggested Subnautica. Uh, after we come back, probably in a month, I'm going to continue by making a base by exploring the other signals that we haven't gone to, and by finding that crashed, how do you call it, 
that crashed. Escape pod. Yes, it was called an escape pod. Uh, you guys have been very good. I love talking to the chat and just like answering questions and just chilling out and making jokes. Not really, you know, it's just a chill stream. I like that. Uh, Fartface asks, what are we going to play instead of RE6 for a troll stream? Hmm. I have a bunch of RE-inspired games that I would like to retry. I am not going to play RE6 for RE month, though, because fuck that game. The game is like dozens of hours long, and I hate it. What are we going to play instead of RE6 for a troll stream? We'll have to see, Fartface. We'll have to see. All right, everybody. Have a good week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sorry if I had to schedule this for Monday. I couldn't really find another time to do it. And I'll see you this weekend. Bye-bye.